known uh, WNBA Blake found the music button. Look at him. It's working. It took three episodes and he found the button. Put a nigga on it, bet. Project baby with no similar in the caddy, but I never let my little nigga. He gon' handle that. I can get a nigga wet. Fuck that little whole shit in that neck. I can get a nigga. This much. I don't know. She's like, yeah, that nigga bald and buff. Yeah, yeah I, I think really we can mean. get him out of there. <laughs> he can put me through a wall. Dog, I'm telling you, man. Like, dog, dog like, what? his life his life is totally, like, the opposite of, like, where it was at. I'm looking at Maya Moore's, like, her Wikipedia. First off, she was making $45,000 a year. Second, I've never Wait. seen the, uh, I don't know. When she was playing? Oh, it says 2012. Uh, dog, I've, I've never seen what? a career highlights and awards be this this long on a single person. Dog, they were saying, like, dog, like, she was, like, might be the best, like, female hooper ever. Like, she was a fucking problem. <laughs> this shit is a long said 45K, year. though. Oh, yeah, that it said that was in 2012. So maybe that was, like, her rookie year. If you work three years at Costco, you make more money than that. Costco starts at seventeen fifty. I think Costco starts higher than that now. I think they're no. Oh, seven, I, I was just reading the hiring thing today for period. That's like oh, that's okay. their 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 lower level thing. Seventeen fifty. Okay, damn. Get in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah, no. And she, she more than gave up that. Was making. She gave up that high rate to get some prison cock. So there we go. Shout out to Maya Moore. Shout out to uh, my man, the old man. Congrats Jonathan to him. He Irons came up. is his name. You think? Shout out to Jonathan Irons. Man of the year. You think he would change his last name? Nigga, I would if I was him. <laughs> you, you know, Jonathan yeah. Moore. Is yeah. your boy. That, that don't even sound bad either. So he's like, I do that. need to know how she settled on him. Sorry, I'm about to be reading her Wikipedia for a second because I need to know. You know what type of shit talking he was probably getting off like when, when she would go home and he would have to go back to his cell? Like, yeah, y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know what I got coming up right now. That nigga's not believing him. Dog, nobody probably <laughs> believed him. You know how sick I'll be if I'm locked up and I can see a nigga bag of Maya more? <laughs> I'm like, nah, bro. We're getting this nigga locked. We're getting him some more time. We're going to stab this nigga, bro. You're not leaving here. Ain't the fuck Maya more. We're going to get you in the fight. We're getting you thrown in the hole, nigga. You're finna get I had a cell phone, phone in your cell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. We're going to put some fucking... <laughs> Some popcorn in your cell, nigga. You're finna get in trouble. Oh my god. Dog, that's crazy, dude. This dude just man. Wow. That's crazy. That's some movie shit. It doesn't even mention this whole thing in her personal life section of the fucking of her Wikipedia. There's nothing on her Wikipedia that talks about this. She stopped playing basketball to get somebody out of prison and then married him, and there's just no mention of it. And just didn't go back. That's How absurd. old is she? Thirty two. She could probably still be playing. She could probably actually. I know nigga, for she, she was, WNBA. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, she's, she's thirty-two. She had twelve more years of her career left. That no, minimum. they they play forever over there. Like if you figure Tarasi's still playing and Tarasi, like I'd say those two are probably so similar funny. players. Where like Sue Bird's a different. Like she's like a facilitator. Like uh-huh. doesn't really drive and score. But Tarasi's still playing. Like she's like the lead scorer for her team type of thing. Dur- so, Diana Tarasi. No, Tarasi's thirty-nine. Maya Moore. Yeah, Tarasi's she's seven years. Best. She's seven years older than uh, Maya Moore and looks like her mother. She looks. You mean so I'm saying Maya Moore could definitely still be playing. Yeah, for sure. The bag would change a little bit, but she's she still be playing. Nah, hey man, shout out to her for getting that dude out of jail, and shout out to that dude for marrying her. Which means she could still come back. She's probably been out for four years now. I'm surprised she hasn't come back. She must not love the game like that. But does her Wikipedia ever say anything about her like hooping overseas? Was she one of those? She there. did, but not. She hasn't done anything. It doesn't seem since she left. She left the league. People gave Kyrie Hill for missing fifty games. She missed four years. <laughs> well, hey, she did it for she did it for love. Kyrie did it out of ignorance. Hey, I'm just I saying, man. Kyrie, either, huh? Kyrie missed one game because people ran in the Capitol. She missed four years because the dude was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, man, it's commendable. Hey, shout out to her. That nigga probably cries every night before he goes to sleep. I would. If this, this like that is, to me, that's bro, for sure. Like, up, bro, I believe in God. Yeah. Right now. it's too. It's too good to be true. Yeah, it's too good to be true. A random WNBA player is like, you know what? I want to save your life and give you this coochie, bro. Like, literally, people, feel like nothing in the world is impossible. Oh, like, like people go out of jail and they be like <laughs> fucked up when they get out of jail. Like they, they don't look for work. They don't got no woman. They got like oh he half wait oh he still has to look for work. Well, not yeah. He's still working for a nation. 
Yeah. Job's already there. Yeah. Or for the Maya Moore Foundation. Okay, maybe. Well, that's, that's probably non profit. I don't know. Dude came home though. It might All be. Yes, asking it's coach you. That's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. All right. Sorry, enough Maya Moore slander. Let's intro the pod. My word. Uh, episode 56, critically unfocused. The... Whoa, whoa. Shit. All right, let's go. Fine, man. Let's yeah. cut this off. Oh, man. All right. You got your boy. It's, it's your boy, DJ Tyrell, back again. Uh, we got Jamal down there. Hello. We got Blake, the super producer. Finally found the music button. I'm so proud of him. Hey. I'm so proud. Uh, hey, family. The fan was upset. Uh, yeah. I'm going to intro our YSL. I'm gonna enter our our fifty six this week. Uh, the other LT, Lawrence Taylor, number <laughs> fifty six is probably the best one. The best uh, fifty six. Derek Johnson, uh, Demario Davis, who I found out is the best linebacker in the league for the past like four years, which is pretty cool. Um, and Keith Brooking, our obligatory this white. So crazy. Obligatory white. Lamar Woodley wore fifty six too. Now that I think about it, he did. I just didn't put him on there. <laughs> You have you can't let us decide who's not worthy of these. Then look up the list, nigga. Do some work. The fuck? I did. I broke stuff on here. Okay, Jamal, do some work. Find a list. Wow. That's shitty. All right. All right. How's everybody's week? How's everybody living? Horrible. What's up? Why's your week horrible? Man, let me tell y'all about it. So Sunday. Um Sunday, everything was going fine. I put Brinley to sleep, and she goes to bed like at 7 o'clock. This is not exciting yet. Right after that, like literally maybe not 20 minutes after that, I start like projectile vomiting. And for the, what the like, fuck? until the next morning, like every two hours, I'm puking. Um, Jesus Christ. He be, going, he be going through it, I swear to God. So, Monday morning comes around. I'm texting my boss and everybody like, yo... I'm about to tell her today because I can't do this shit. Like I'm, I'm, I feel like weak and just out of it. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to like work the whole day, but I just like I ended up taking a nap like half the day, and then I worked the afternoon or whatever. Um, and I was home like this whole entire week because, like, it went from puking to like the other end. <laughs> Man. Yeah. yeah, I've just yeah I've been like just fucking wrecked like the whole week, and like I guess I had like some stomach virus or whatever. And I'm finally like, but today is my first day back, like in the building at work. Um, God damn! But like, yeah, like lost like 12 pounds this week. Like, God damn! Not fun. Yeah. Um, this nigga was down bad, tremendous. That sounds yeah, terrible, like, man. Yeah, Brinley um got kicked out of daycare on Monday as well. I think. What the hell is she do? Cause she her diaper exploded twice and she had like diarrhea and like oh, whatever she has then I get so it's like the same shit and then yeah Make sure your baby so, has to leave exactly so she went back on Thursday man but it was just just been like a long ass <laughs> goddamn week dude there's shit everywhere somebody <laughs> comes baby holy shit and the whoever said dogs are man's best friends lied like that's yeah. just stupid like. Nobody's nobody's gonna allow their friends to treat them like their dogs do. That's that's a fact. Like it's <laughs> not going. Um, my word. Yeah, no. Back on top yeah. of the world, man. I picked a good day to get my health back. Sounds like What's he up? had a shitty week. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you. Shout out to Imodium. Lock oh, shit man. up like uh, Drew Holiday. <laughs> Lock shit up. You niggas are absurd. Jamal, how's your week? Yeah, better than that, I hope. Nah, it was definitely better than that. I could control when I shit, and I wouldn't throw it up. You <laughs> know what I mean? Just, just work regular, same shit with me. Uh, was anticipating this Kendrick album all week. But uh oh, we'll talk about that later. Day. Yes, sir. But that was just a cool week. What about you, bro? It was a great time. It was uh, extremely uneventful. I don't remember anything that happened this week. It's been a blur, which is always a good thing in my book. You doing busy. Yeah, I have been busy, which is unfortunate. But hey, I don't even know what I was doing. But we here now. You don't even look yes, busy, man. You got the you got the edges done up again. Look at you. No, no, I did not. I did not. Blake's a little dark up top. No, that's that's oh, size hair. Hair. Yeah, never mind. Fuck. Yeah, hair. Fucking Celtics one. I hate this nigga. The Celtics one. I just let sixty dollars. Just asking. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you my guy's number. 
travels. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Give me a bottle. I'll do it myself. Holy shit. Me and Shakur will go in on a Beijing machine for you. You can just put your head in it like a blow dryer or like an uh, air dryer. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, man. You know what would be a dope out? idea, like an invention? Okay. Like a kind of like a skull cap, but it's got like the hairline built into it. So you put it on real quick and you wear it at night and it lasts you like the whole day. So it's kind of like Beijing built into like a skull cap. So it's like you put it on, boom, right? Then you wake up and it's got like the zoom, zoom. So it's like crispy as fuck. Then it lasts so you're you like saying like like the gum that you used to put on your tongue and it make your tongue like a zebra? Yeah, but it's like a it's like a hairline stencil and you sleep with it on. But it's like but how's it, what's cap. it do about hair that goes out of place? You're saying just like make an indent in your head. No, nigga, like it's got it's got like the, the Beijing shit kind of and it like oh, gives you like the dope hairline. reinforces yeah. a good hairline. Yeah, like a bit like a stencil. But for Do you gotta head. get it like custom fitted for your head. It's like everybody's hair right. is not the same. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Yeah, nah, you gotta get like a mold like you did with your grill, but for your head. It's for people that got the that got with the turkey and got that shit done. Yeah, T- Tory Lanez has that probably. That's crazy. Yeah. Permanent one. Oh, never mind. That was a shitty idea. All right, never mind. Fuck it. I'm, I'm glad we were able to talk it out and figure out that it was a bad idea. Good thing I didn't invest any money in that. Thank God. Better than NFT right now, right? Or the casino. Oh, yeah, I think it's it's today or not today, uh, Thursday. It said the app Coinbase has lost fifty percent of its value, like in the last six days or some wild shit. I was like, Jesus oh my God. god! Didn't somebody in like the NBA just buy like a big ass piece of Coinbase a couple months ago, or was it like Justin Timberlake or something? I feel like no, dude. That that's shit. Absurd. That type of loss is like scary because that's type of people like take their own lives over that type of stuff, like. It, they said that I, I read something that I can't like confirm. They said there's been eight documented cases of suicide related to the Luna coin or whatever crashing. Oh no! You I don't even know what that coin is. Over like cop shot. I feel like it was like Nas or Top somebody. Shot crashed too. Like a bigger. Of... No, nah, I'm just thinking like if all that shit is going bad, like I'm pretty sure Top Shot can't be doing high right now. Well, I, I can't. Yeah, I have no idea. I can't think of the last time I heard the word Top Shot before you just said it. I get those it's damn emails. emails. We want to yeah. buy those packs, so that should be expensive, bro. Yeah, it does. They be wanting hell. It was like, bro, like, like I don't know. Like, I know we're not like the most knowledgeable and all that shit, but it's like I just I can't just spend spending hell of money on that because I feel like some of that stuff is like trendy. Like, I feel like you hear about people like buying that stuff, and then like they're not able to sell it, and it goes down like super fast. Yeah, like it's hard to even say like we're not super knowledgeable because there's not. I don't feel like there's many people who are like actually super knowledgeable and like. NFT stuff. It's a lot of people who read something and they're like re regurgitating the information to you, or they're like listening to a podcast where somebody's telling them that this is how this works. But I don't know if anybody really knows how that not anybody, but I'm sure most people don't actually know how that shit was working. Yeah. I'm I made a point to read about um NFTs and Web3, not this week, it was last week. Um because something kept coming up about them. I think it was like investment stuff or whatever. But I was like, okay, like Cause one like the web three part like i hadn't necessarily had heard of that that much so i was like mm-hmm. let me go see what's going on over here or whatever but um because people are like really like pushing back against video game companies getting involved with nfts um i think square enix is like dumping a bunch of their like established like developers and stuff like that so they can invest money in nfts and i tried to like have like discourse people about like how come you don't want them inside of games when like my mindset towards it like just right now like as a gamer I play 2K a ton, art, right? And uh, right, um, buy like shoes, shirts, hats, whatever, and shit like that on 2K. There's like digital items that are within the game, right? Um, if those items, rather than be hosted like on 2K's marketplace, were just like hosted like on the blockchain instead, like it's not going to change anything for us as gamers, right? Um, but I think like, it, like, I, the the pushback I was seeing for was for games like Square Enix doing it. People don't want to like okay. Um, so if they're hosted on the blockchain, the one benefit is instead of like it just being like an item that like, well, okay, so let me run it back. We buy items inside games, whether it be like, uh, they're usually cosmetics, uh, the Overwatch, we got skins, 2K, you got accessories you put on your players and shit like that. So everyone's like used to that type of transaction of like buying like cosmetic items or whatever items inside games. Some games you even buy like things that actually help you with competitive stuff. Um, yeah. But then there's also stuff that's like not common that drops every once in a while, like be it like in Destiny, there's like limited edition shit and stuff like that. Um, and they don't have a marketplace, but people would buy it if they could. 
So it's like if you establish like some type of market where these things can be traded freely, like even if people that don't play the game, because like the item itself has some sort of value, then why would people as gamers be upset at that? Because it's like now like if I have some item that's like worth like $10 in this game or whatever, it's worth $10 to anybody because it's, it's not just locked within this game. Like they can, it's only usable in this game, but like it's still worth $10 to whoever holds it, you know? Yeah. Uh, that was just my idea when I was looking at it. So, what were you going to say? Uh, I just was. I think I've seen the most pushback around games that like don't already kind of have that structure. And you know, people don't fuck with microtransactions, so they're like, they don't want Square Enix to put this shit in like Final Fantasy or like these games that don't really already have those things set up. Was the main pushback kind of thing I've seen. It makes way more sense in the like form of Two K doing it or yeah, Overwatch, Call of Duty games where it's like you're playing every year, you're getting stuff that should be able to carry over, but it doesn't. And if it's a like tied to a monetary thing would make more sense for that to carry over. Yeah, it's like, oh, this like the right now Snoop Dogg's in Warzone. You can buy his skin or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let's say they never sell that again. Like, but the Warzone skins are usable for the next eight Warzones. Like, if there was like a market where you could just go and buy that from somebody else, like somebody's gonna pay yeah. for that, I mean, whether they that's hosted on the blockchain or not. Like, um, keep it above, dude. Some of these game companies are just trying to get fucking greedy, bro. Like, why the fuck? Oh, Final I, 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 I agree. Why the fuck yeah. does Final Fantasy need NFTs, bro? Like, come on, bro. I don't even... I'm not even talking about that. So, I, yeah, is, yeah. That, is that something that they're actually trying to do? Or are no, you just saying... Like, I, I just well, I'm just saying, like, just some games yeah. just don't need that shit. Like, they already want you to spend $30 and you can get a mustache for your character and these uh boots and all these other... They just want to keep adding shit to make you spend your money if you buy the game, bro. That shit is annoying. When niggas but, don't so, fix think things. about what you're saying, though, because, like, they set that price at $30, right? If, if they tried to do that bullshit and it's like a market where they don't set the prices it's just like in the blockchain it's between people mm. then that worthless ass mustache is going to still be worthless as hell they can't yeah. get over on that only the people actually want to be worth money that's true i think like yeah, there's shit nfts anywhere else probably the pushback too comes from like people i won't say people in general because again like the the little bubbles that we live in it's hard to say for sure but it doesn't seem like people are super big on nfts in general so i'm sure gamers are like i don't like this thing i want it to have nothing to do with this other thing and i don't care what the whatever how it could benefit me at all i just don't want anything to do with it yeah, i don't want anything to do with them in, in general myself i'm just <laughs> like if that was the implementation though like i don't that makes sense bother yeah. me like yeah like whatever <laughs> yeah yeah something that can stop make my money worth more money later or just it's still worth money. Like we bought, yeah. shit. I bought so much shit in GTA that I'm never gonna touch again. If I could sell that shit and get some money back, that'd be fucking. Dog, I probably like 2K20. I probably spent like at least 200, enough, not 300 dollars on shit that didn't matter, and it's just gone now because the game's yeah. gone. Unless, yep, servers stop working, then don't matter. I, I mean, maybe I know I wouldn't have gotten nearly that much back from it, but I could have hocked it all off for fifteen dollars or some shit. Maybe That'd have been get cool. enough money to buy the next two K. You get sixty bucks <laughs> back. And the next two K is technically free. Mm-hmm. That'd have been lovely. Yeah. Or some VC for anything. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, shout out to you if you buying funny money. Stay, keep it away from that. Uh, yeah, people are losing hell of money. I, people, man, them damn, them ape and them ape uh, <laughs> gifts, man, with all them grills and the chains and shit, man. People, people saying this is looking bad for them right now. People can't sell that shit for nothing right now. If you had money to go buy one of those, I think you're probably still doing fine. Hopefully, you didn't risk the fucking farm on it. Yeah, I feel like regular people, like the average person, can't afford to spend like thousands of dollars on shit like that anyway. So it's probably people with just people that are already doing fine. So or idiots. Some people oh, are fucking yeah, or dumb. idiots, yeah. This well, is true. Take some money oh that God. they don't have to dump into shit that they th- that they. Oh, Elon Musk said it's gonna make me money, so I'll, I'll go take a little loan out. Oh shit, won't crash, bro. People do crazy shit like that. That documentary I watched on Netflix, I told you guys about, where the dude like just took hell. He made his own like a uh, crypto trading service and like vanished off the face of the earth, and like people were like losing hell of money. Like, bro, like it was fucking insane. It's hella sad. Like dog, like dog, that shit is crazy. Like some dudes, like yeah, man. Like I had eighty thousand dollars, and then I put it all into crypto, and I wanted to like avoid fees, so I put it on there, and I tried to withdraw it. And I'm like, it says okay, wait a day, and bro, like dog, some of those people never got their fucking money back, and it's just like, bro, like just imagine, like you work hard as fuck, you're getting ready to start a business, you graduate school, 
you're probably gonna pay your student loans and like start your business. And niggas just niggas lose a thousand and thousand, not tens of thousands of dollars, bro. Like some nigga lost. It's gambling in another form. That's it's yeah. it. They bet it all on fucking red. Oh, oh yeah. And then like and then like so when the so that like the dude died, whatever, but they think he faked his death, but like so the dude died, whatever. And then, like, his, like, wife inherited, like, some stuff in his will. So she's got, like, a boat and all this other stuff. And then, like, obviously, she didn't want to be a part of a documentary and people can't reach out to her. But she knows some funny business was going on. But then they had, like, some of her family in the documentary talking about, oh, we were concerned when her husband died. And we knew something was going on with his, like, crypto thing. And he was in charge of all these groups. And not nah, like that. I wonder how often that, we- that happens, like, on a smaller scale. Just, like, these random little coins that... People dump a bunch of money into, and they think it's gonna go to the moon, and then it just disappears, and your shit's just gone. Like yeah. I'm sure that happens more frequently than like it's documentary worthy, but just like a couple hundred bucks here, a couple thousand bucks here. Dog, um, fucking De'Aaron Fox like was robbing niggas. Remember that shit? <laughs> he, he, yes, he did. He, uh, but he he gave some of them a jersey though. Oh, okay. twelve hundred dollar jersey. At the end of the day, yeah, it's absurd. I have to shoot that thing, bro. I'm sorry. Just go Sacramento to, Kings. Go to a game, run on the court like at the Timberwolves games. You just whoop his ass. Yeah, you just gotta. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't. I don't know. But hey, man, be careful with your money. Be smart. Somebody's gonna t- hit us afterwards. You just, you niggas just don't be thinking. You don't need to do your own research. All right, where you y'all, where y'all want to start? Y'all want to start with some music? Y'all want to talk Kendrick? What y'all want to do? Who we do? Hey, what you guys feeling? Let's start with the Kendrick album. What you guys think so far? How far are you guys into it? Have you guys given it a full spin already? I think I'm giving it three listens. Spins. Three, five. Okay, I think I'm two full in. There's a couple songs I've played way more times than that. What are you guys thinking? I like it. Yeah. It's pretty good. It was... I know. What... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Nah, Bitch, if fucking... you don't tell us. <laughs> nah, Kendrick was wild. That dude, um... <laughs> I know. I feel like I know exactly what part of the album you're talking about. Too. You're oh, so he's talking about fucking white chick. Oh, that shit had me dying. <laughs> and then, uh, dog, that nigga, this dude fucked the chick out the good kid, man. Said he like, yo, man, I, Doctor Umar is not pleased with me. That nigga made pimp a butterfly right after that. <laughs> dog, that shit had me said, dying. My girl said, do you have a problem? I don't know. Dog. <laughs> and then what else was hella funny on that? But, so, uh, um, so, oh yeah, his auntie Demetrius. Now that's yeah. a dope song, though. Like just it is. Like, it was just the chorus was kind of like whoa. It's a dope yeah. song, though. I didn't expect that. <laughs> no, look, she, like, look how you ain't on Malcolm Moore for a decade and a half. It's a dope song, though. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no, so people are like we don't like you don't ever really hear you don't. Ever, nah, that song was corny, bro. That nigga. Shut up. Was, shut the fuck up. Like, he got you. Value shit. He got you. He did. No, nah, that song wasn't corny. In the third grade, I thought that I was gay because I like to clean my room. Like, I thought what? Demetrius, I seen a dinner when she's playing with the Barbie doll with the big picture of Venus. <laughs> nah, Damn, this shit's hard. Look at you trying to tear the black man down. Nah, like it, like it's dope because it's just like I don't know, like he's that's some super personal shit. Like people probably don't want to talk about that or like to. Yeah, Malcolm like, like, wasn't like, personal. personal. <laughs> It's not that personal. He just thought he was gay for a little bit. He thought he was th- gay for like <laughs> for a school year. All right, it is not, it's, it's not even Kendrick story, so it's not how it's it's personal. Not, it's not the same, bro. Thinking you're gay because you like to clean your room over, like you got two family members in your well, immediate family. Personal means about family yourself. Family. It's hella funny too because that's that's the first <laughs> lyric of the song. There's a whole other three minutes after that part of the song. Yeah, can you tell us anything else about that song? I'm talking to you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, can you tell us anything else? About the Macklemore? I can tell you plenty about both of them. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, no, like, it's just, I don't know. I'm, it's cool. It's just like what shows where we're at now. now it's like, I'm uh, proud of your progression, man. Is this no, like, it's cool. Is no, way that Kendrick nah, and Macklemore are forever? Bro, like, if this song them. came out like 10, 10 to 15 years ago, I'm turning that shit off. Like, bro, I don't want to hear Three this. Three years ago. <laughs> Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen before everyone had to love everybody. Yeah, if this shit came out before. Been like, get this shit the fuck out of my ears. Nigga, if this shit came out two weeks ago. 
Yeah. I'm about to say, <laughs> he, he sent us the style piece gift this morning. I didn't even know what it was a reference. No. To. You know what? If Jordan Lucas made this song, if Logic made this song. I, honestly, if either of those two made this song, I'd probably be agreeing with Shakur. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Hate them niggas. <laughs> It is. Hey, it's funny. People kind of. We can get back to the album in a second. People kind of act like that's not a thing, but sometimes it is. Like who, the messenger it's matters. Absolutely a thing. The messenger matters, man. Like if that this is true. exact sometimes song you don't want to hear logic, certain shit from all the same lyrics. No. And all that, I'm like, man, I don't want to hear this shit, dude. That's what somebody made the point about, like the um, the heart part five video and everything. It's like, Doc Jordan Lucas has been making these songs for years. Never was telling him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. All, that's because he always does that shit. No, nah, that's because he started out being super corny though. Like that nigga had the video where he was like in therapy as like a Klansman. Uh, yeah. He was rapping from like a KKK member's perspective. Like nigga, I don't want to hear this. This dude just rapped as OJ and Jesse Smollett. <laughs> hey, I was shocked to see Jesse Smollett in the video. I didn't know what point he was trying to prove. Like a blank man, you tear the black man down. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> this shit is hilarious. Like, and I want to be clear, like. He's fucking fire. Like the album is fire. Everything he's done since he's been fire. But you're seeing believe. like how how much leeway we give Kendrick to do shit now that people are like, hey, yo, sit your ass down, man. Like, that's, facts, man. <laughs> that's fucking facts. Are you if you're not you cool kids can do shit that the nerds can't, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. That's fucking fact. All right. Sha- oh, Shakur, what's your favorite song on the album? Uh you have a favorite song yet? What's what's the song where he like uh when they counted me out, where was the hoes at? That's my it's shit. Called, Down and out. Count me out. It's called count me yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. You, like, that's yeah. relatable for you. Yeah, man. Because you know when they thought you was down and out, man. Where was the hoes at? Okay, I got you. I got you. What, so out of ten, Shakur, uh, early review. I'll call this an early review still because you're only a couple spins in. But how many out of ten? What are you ranking this? I got like an eight. Okay. I like yeah. that. I like that. Fuck you, Blake. I didn't. I'm just. I'm just trying to get, make sure we got some perspective on what you're saying. Right now. Blake was very right. But people right, Blake, know who's saying this. Blake, what's what's your take on that? You saying it's fire? What's what's your highlights? You got any low lights? Um. So only like I've only listened to it like one and a half times. Like I said, I listened to it this morning when I first woke up. Um. While I was getting ready, so not the best environment. And the second time I was like playing it in my car, like, driving back and forth to work and all that stuff. Um. I like. In ninety five is a slapper. Um, the song on the second disc with Kent with a uh, Kodak is a slapper. That's that shit's hard. One with Ghostface is a slapper. The low light for me is the one where he's arguing with the girl back and forth. They're like, Nigga. "Fuck you, bitch! No, fuck you, bitch!" Over and over again. I'm like, "All right, I can't do this." Like, <laughs> I see that people last night. Guard. Like, if we cry together is one of your favorite songs. You need to seek therapy. And one of the homies this morning said, "Like, yeah, here's my five favorite songs. And number four was We Cry Together." I was like, you need to get help, bitch. You're toxic. I'm. I, that's a song that, like, I I see what he did. I like it. Great story. I'm never going to listen to that song ever again. Yeah, like, I'll, oh. that's, like, one of the songs, like, I'll probably skip it most of the time when it comes on. That shit was, like, being in, like, the backseat of, like, somebody's car while they're getting yelled at by their girl. She was saying some flagrant shit. <laughs> yeah, it's not like an Eminem funny. song, to be honest. And yes. That nigga said... Shut up, bitch! It's my car now, or some shit like that. Or I ain't giving you your said, keys, bro. Give me my keys. <laughs> like this I is the day you tell, you tell your boss you walking to work or whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, oh yeah. my god! No, oh, that shit, said, you bro. little dick nigga. I should have sucked his dick. He goes, who? She goes, Ooh. anybody? A bigger dick? Nigga. Like, oh. Ah, ah. Uh. <laughs> She said, that my you yeah, she just th- did that shit to throw it in my face. Like that was that was like a real ass argument he's had before. That was a like there was, oh, but it was very like, specific intricacies of that argument. That that shit happened to him before. Yeah, but oh, but they were like rhyming and stuff. Oh, like, oh shit, yeah. he's barring him up. <laughs> that <laughs> that, that incredible penmanship to put that song together. That shit was that shit crazy. Was that, yeah, that's an incredible song that I never ever want to hear again. Um, I think this is one of the albums though. Like I I can't like I'm probably well, I don't know. I can't see myself listening to this thing all the way through again. They're probably gonna pull some songs off of here and just make that a little playlist. I'll probably just skip that song, honestly. There's a couple. That's cool. I'm saying for myself though. Like (laughs) like a two, three minute interview. I I prefer like things that are more upbeat, and this this album is not that compared to damn at least. What songs are you pulling off? 
He's only listened to it one and a half times. He probably doesn't know yet. No. Uh, is there any songs that you know that you want to pull off for sure on the second uh, half of the album? Make it to my playlist? Yeah. What songs like, do you never want to hear again? Oh, do I never want to hear again? Um, yeah. Re- we cry together. I, it's, I don't know. Like, Auntie Diaries, I don't need to hear that. Mother, I sober. Why I don't, don't you want to hear that, that song again? No. Like, the setup was a mile away. <laughs> I'm just curious. Why don't I want to hear Auntie Diaries again? Yeah. Like, is there a reason why you don't want to hear that song again? Personally, it's not really a great song for listening to. It's like more so just a story. Is it because of content wise? Or like you don't like what he's saying and the acceptance, like what he's like trying to teach people about accepting <laughs> like, the family members? I like <laughs> listening to flaps. To I think he's trying to teach you, Jamal. <laughs> I listen to flaps. Yeah, I like it. All right. So, Blake, early review, what are you ranking this out of 10? Uh, like a seven. Okay, so seven. where would you guys put? You don't got to necessarily rank them, but like, where would you put this in as of now in your Kendrick catalog? Like, Blake, you said you're not going back to it very much, so it's probably pretty low, even though it's not a bad album. You'd say, well, where does the Kendrick catalog start? I'd say section eighty forward. I think overly dedicated kind of counts because it's all original beats and shit. I don't remember. But, yeah, nobody really goes back to that. So I'm going from like the time I thought that everybody... we dedicated it was hard. I like we it. don't give a fuck, nerd. <laughs> Just answer the goddamn questions. Look, look at me, I'm special. Fuck. Yeah, we all listened to <laughs> Michael Jordan and one other song from that album. When's the last time you listened to Overly Dedicated? 2012, dickhead? Last week. Yeah, no, we the other day. It wasn't last year. There's no way you were just like purposely like, you know what I want to do today? Overly no, I'm Dedicated. Telling, I listened to the most random shit. You didn't listen to that. You know, I was listening to um, Nature. I don't care what else you were listening to. You weren't listening to Overly Dedicated. In okay, right, okay, I wasn't. You're right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can very, find very different. He can have headphones in, like, basically from when he wakes up to when he goes to sleep. It's, it's very different. Like, you can't really. Yeah. I listen to hell of music, like, all day. Yeah, but I I don't think you went to that album. You got to skip six other classic albums, and you were like, I'm going to listen to this one. No, I fucked the Overly Dedicated. That shit was hard. I remember the beginning where the dude's talking about committing suicide. Name dun, four songs. Dun, 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 dun. I can't remember like names, but oh, okay. All right, let's go back to what he's talking about. What was the question you asked, dude? Section eighty up. up. I hate like, Tyrell, dude. The, the 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 canon Kendrick catalog. Where are you putting this? Like closer to the bottom. If you have a number, where you're putting it, or between albums, where you're putting it, that's cool too. But like probably in the middle. Hold on. So what's are we leaving out? Untitled and Mastered and Black Panther. You can put that in there if you want. So yeah, I'd say what section eighty. Uh, Good Kid, Mad City, The Pimple Butterfly, Untitled, Unmastered, and Damn. Let's say those are his four or five albums. Okay. Untitled, Unmastered is the very bottom. Okay. Section 80 is right above that. This is right above that. Okay. And then, wait, so where you go from there? To Pimple Butterfly, uh, Good Kid, Damn? Because isn't Damn your favorite album by him? Damn is my favorite album by him, yeah. Yeah. So, Damn, Good Kid, Mad City, then to Pimple Probably. Okay. I don't hate that. What about you, Jamal? You can put overly dedicated in there if you want, dickhead. He's gonna put it last. <laughs> Get all that argument to have it last. I'm gonna put that first. Uh the Kendrick Lamar LP number two. Uh I'm gonna put uh Honestly, was that? the, like Car- the Carter four that he did. I'm gonna put that up there. C three. That's gotta go in there. <laughs> uh his his, his, like his songs on Compton, the album. Yeah. Compton, the album. Fuck you. Right, uh, probably running? in the middle. Okay. So what? Actually, got your, a demo above that. What's your my, order? My, I guess from like least to best, I guess it'll be what section eighty, then overly dedicated, then to pimp a butterfly, then what? Damn, then good kid, bad city. Okay. Okay. Good kid, bad city is the the best rap album of the last ten years. Okay, came out exactly ten years ago, so uh, we are getting uh, getting close. Got no longer being a thing. He's like, the best rap album for our, our generation. Um, yeah, I I like this album. I need to listen to it some more. Similar to Blake, there are just there are quite a few songs that's like Fuck I don't. Blake. I'm not about to just like, I didn't do anything. I'm not about to just have that plan. Uh, but there are like did. yeah, there are just some oh, like the faith. my faith. There are some songs that are too deep to just be like riding around listening to. I might show somebody if there's like a cool music video for We Cry Together, which I could see him playing, making a video for that. Maybe I'll watch that once. Um, but yeah, it's solid on, on my uh, four four playthroughs I've had, three, four playthroughs so far. I'd say I'd give it an eight. Um, and then, yeah, rank-wise, 
I feel like I'd have it fourth. I think I'd go. Uh, I think I'd go Good Kid, Mad City, Damn, then to Pimple Butterfly, then Section Eighty, and then this maybe even. Uh, I'll put this above Section Eighty for now. Section Eighty is really good, though. Yes, yeah. Bro. Yeah, sec- I was surprised you guys both had Section 80 so low. low. There's some fucking bangers on Section 80 that I love. Low's relative, though, because we're ever talking about like Kendrick projects. Like, That's not true. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> this is also true. It, it's <laughs> ADHD, <laughs> Hold Up, Rig of Mortis. Those are like three of my favorite songs. By Untitled and Master is like the only one that I really... I can't even oh, say yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't sit with it because like the, the idea of like things not having names and just sitting there, yeah. like they, they weren't... Yeah, just like sequence at all. Like they yeah. didn't fit just together. They're just literally yeah. random ass songs. Yeah, the only song I ever listened to off there is that Levitate, Levitate, Levitate. I think that's untitled. What number seven. is it? I like that song seven. with CeeLo on there. That shit's hard. I fuck with that song. How would cool. I know what yeah. song that is? I don't know. You gotta hear it until you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because uh, Apple Music tell you who listened to an album, and it usually only is like if they've listened to it within the last like month. Darius is on Untitled Unmastered. He probably just. Fucking nerd now to this album. That's some hipster shit. That's so funny. Yeah, no to pimple. I wish you would get back to this, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twenty fourteen, Kendrick. Man, you other? don't even know those were twenty fourteen songs. <laughs> Anything else that came out this week y'all been listening to besides the Kendrick? No, I don't even. I couldn't even tell you what else came out this week. Their feather music. <laughs> yeah. What else came yeah, out? Of- Nah, I just I like the uh, uh Black it? Youngster. El Camino I don't, dropped. I don't Black Youngster's not in prison. The fuck? That's crazy. You didn't you like, y'all like that Joey Badass single that he dropped? I didn't know he put a single out. No. He put out a song last night. That shit's pretty good. There's a new Onyx album out today. Dog, I saw that on the timeline today. Method uh, Man too. Shout out my dog Vita. Old nigga. Uh yeah, I seen him like post screenshot of it. I was like, no, nah, I know they who I think it is. I know they're still making music. I think it is. Yeah, there's nothing else really. Oh, yeah, shout out to uh, Fred Rose Star. Oh, it wasn't this week, but I want to know, Jamal, uh, after you read that 2.9, or yeah, the 2.9 out of 10 review for the Jack Harlow album, did you go listen to it? Oh, man, yeah. Dog, they're deadly hate. Like, come on. Like, I, y'all know me, man. I was ready to fucking between the legs. You niggas throw me the oop from the other free throw. <laughs> Finish the oop, but bro, that album is not bad like that, bro. Like, I give it like a 5.5, maybe a six. Like, there's some songs on there I, I kind of enjoy. Honestly, it feels like a a great Drake impersonation kind of <laughs> album. I feel like we're I'm not like the target audience, but it's kind of like you know, like like some yeah. young, like some young teenage young woman. You know what I compared like, it to? Poppy kind of shit. What? And Blake, don't get mad at me. I like this artist, and I like Jack Harlow too. It kind of reminds me of a Nav album where you can just turn it on not think about it. The songs all sound kind of similar and it just kind of runs together. All of them are like a cool little vibe, so you're just like barely listening to it. Yeah, like, like, I'm not about I don't to, think I'm going to be playing it for a while, but like, it, it wasn't terrible. Like, I feel like yeah. I don't know, like giving it a 2.9 is harsh because I've definitely heard a lot worse rap out. Giving it a 2.9 was fucking absurd. Like, the yeah, points that didn't even made other in the article, like, but it was like 2.9 is hella low. Like, yeah, yeah, like come on, bro. Them niggas never heard that last French Montana album, bro. But fucking, you should have looked and seen what they gave that. Give it a one. No, I don't know, man. But that one was not bad. Like some of the beats are kind of hard on there. Like I like the production on there. It's funny though that you mentioned the Drake impersonation. The song he has with Drake just lets you know he does a Drake impersonation. Dude, like that's the first the song that's not the intro. That young Harleysy, like this sounds like a a Drake throwaway. Yeah, I feel like, gotta, like always think like these things are one person's opinion on something that's entirely like. Subjective is it's it's opinion based. So if that one person didn't fuck with it, that's all that dog, means. Everybody, no, dog, like no, there, a lot of people were like shitting on it. Like people like, been shitting on Jack Ford, Harlow. Period, though, for like forever, complex, especially just like on Twitter and shit, Reddit because like he's album. white and think he's a plant and like all this other shit that has nothing to do with necessarily. Like, right, he's definitely he's a plant. Like, but <laughs> he's, dog, like, fucking, he's dog, been a meme. People were ready for this album to fucking suck before it even came out. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, it doesn't suck. It's not bad, so it's whatever. But I think most people who have been talking about him probably haven't even listened to the album. Like, yeah, they just don't sure. care Absolutely. about him. They just Absolutely. it's the fun thing to do to hate on him. Just like it's fun to hate on Logic with not even like listening to it. And I guess I mean like reviews are for sure. It's more fun to hate like, on Logic though. It, it's it's I'm not like, saying it's more or less. I'm saying this is in the same vein of energy. Yeah, yeah. Logic's half black too, and it's still more fun to hate on that. <laughs> 
I think, uh, like, I feel like when it comes to reviews, like, it's obviously subjective and it's helpful to, like, oh, this person has a similar taste in music to me. So, if I know if I go to their review, I'm gonna, like, probably agree with it because they agree with my music. That's the way to do it to help you find stuff is like find someone who exactly kind of lines up with you. It's nice that when sometimes it's more of like, this isn't necessarily for me, but I see why people would like it. But then obviously, there's gonna be pitchfork, which, like, somebody's probably going to read that guy specifically or going to see Fantano. To see what he's talking about so they know like oh if or he likes this i like this look at a review aggregate if you're really trying to like yeah. get like a just a general like consensus of like how this thing is like reviewed like how, what mm-hmm. people think about this as a whole not just like what, what one website says one website is one person yeah even though it's a website like you know people say ign gave this or whatever no john jackson at ign gave that a seven like yeah <laughs> no nah, it, it wasn't that bad I was ready to shit on it too. I was ready to <laughs> ah, Vince Carter that shit, but nah, I wasn't that bad. Shocker. That means Blake, if you listen to it, you're gonna hate that shit. I have no plans to listen to that, Jack Harlow. Are you're you fucking listening. serious, Blake? <laughs> what do you mean? You want me to listen to it? Yeah. Okay, I, I'll listen I, to it. I, want to, I wanted to compare like our listens to it. I don't like Jack Harlow's. He does. <laughs> oh, I thought you are. <laughs> we did. We I went did over this the second this. time you did that. It's the wrong way around. The second time we did this uh, fifty-five podcast minutes ago because it's how we ended the last show. Yeah, well, never mind. And then yeah, I talked about Jack Harlow show. all week. I got you. Yeah. I listen to. I, I listen to him on Funk Flex though, and I was let down because the first time he's up there, he smoked it. This time it was it was mediocre. Yeah. No, that wasn't even the best rap album from a first. white guy that week. Anyway, shout out to Action Bronson. That Action Bronson album was hard with Alchemist. He's been backing my algorithms for food shit a lot lately on YouTube. Nah, that actual Bronson album is hard. Shout out to actual Bronson. That's my dude. Like, you had a question about the anticipation from this album? You Pussy wetter than a gremlin's nose. Oh, that's not me. Oh, that's that was Jamal. Oh, oh, everything shit. below the hyperlink. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Jamal was putting anything in the in the chat. Well, you, you, so, Jamal, you thought this album, you said you were asking if this was the most, like, anticipated album for our age group did you just mean in general or like right now yeah or? so like kind of i guess like for like i guess like us growing up so i guess like teenage years and up to like now maybe i was thinking like this has to be like one of the most anticipated like hip-hop albums for like that i could think of in a while like can you guys think anything C3. else like j electronica whatever no uh, c3 yeah. for sure damn that i think about it, it's definitely got to be carter three huh yeah, Carter Three, J Electronica, because I feel like Dan was so good, and then he did the Black Panther thing Jay afterwards. Electronica. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, for that motherfucking J Electronica. <laughs> oh, that shit, just, that shit just came out eight months ago. That shit wasn't anticipated no more. No, the, yeah, the hype had died by the time that shit came out. Oh, well, the hype just lasted for so long, so I put it up there. But no, I think That's Kendrick, cool. like he he dropped his album at a time where like the album was really good, so we listened to it for a year, year and a half. Then the COVID shit happened, kind of like skewed time. So like I don't think people I won't say people weren't missing Kendrick I just it was I, I didn't realize it had been five years since Damn until I was like oh shit it's been five years since that album came out when this album was announced which it's been he's been kind of teasing it for a while which built up the anticipation but I don't really I wouldn't put it in that category necessarily I'm gonna say C three and Wiz's debut those are two that I remember like people really getting up for wait who's debut? Wiz's debut is not comparable uh, to C three uh what is it paper whatever. Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty big one. Was that Paper Planes? Wasn't it Paper Planes? Is it called Paper Planes? Or Rolling Papers? Or was it Rolling, rolling Papers? Paper, rolling Papers. Rolling papers. I remember, okay. yeah, that was, that was supposed to be one of them ones, and it, it, it fell short of it, for yeah, sure. But it has some bangers on there. C3 has got to be the one, though, because that was like a four song. That was after rollout. the mixtape one, yeah. That was <laughs> like after all shit, the mixtape. Yeah. Every shit. time a mixtape came out, he was just yelling, C3, on it. after every song. You're like, oh, this is going to be on the album. This is the single. No, none of the songs were on the album, actually. They were on the 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 first deluxe ever. <laughs> he he has multiple. There's a a series of leak albums from that album. Like it's absurd. Dog that that leaked version of the Carter Three. That's the hardest shit ever, bro. Bitch, not me. That shit used to have me going crazy as, as a youngin. Damn. Yes. Yeah, no. Now now that I think about it, because I I definitely forgot about like Carter Three. How anticipated that was. That's definitely got to be like the most anticipated like rap album. Absolutely. I had the yeah. little documentary on my PSP. <laughs> wow. Is that the one where it got him like rapping in the hotel, like just gets up out of the bed and starts rapping? Yep. Yeah. That nigga was nice. Crazy. Dude, I was on the phone with my dad because I asked him if he listened to the album, whatever. And then um he said he fucked with it, whatever. Cause I was a uh, dog, this how this I'm definitely sitting on myself. I do not be working hard at work. So I was thinking of like shit to put on there. 
Because I was like, yo, what was some of the most uh, anticipated like rap albums that you can like remember? And he was saying like the ones he could think of off the top of his head was like Ice Cube's first solo album. Because like after all the NWA yeah. shit. Because like, damn, like, you know, like, what's he going to do by himself? Like, he's not going to have Dre beats behind him. Then America's Most Came Out, he's like, nah, he's that nigga. And then he said that in the, uh, like, doggy style. Because I didn't know, like, the first shit he did uh, with Dre was the, uh, what was that old, the movie from back in the day? Not before the chronic, oh, that came out. Uh, gang related? The movie. Oh, no, Deep Cover. Deep, deep, deep Cover, deep cover yeah. I said it four fucking... Just speak up, nigga, say with your chest next time. God damn. I, yeah. if, see, is I, if I'm low, I need y'all to tell me because uh, my mic's in a new spot. Yeah, we can't tell nah. you, we can't hear you. Yeah, bring it a little close to you, don't hold on. But um, that wow, well, the way the uh, the, our cover art, I thought that you had that as like a poster on your wall, but like that's hilarious because the way it is right there on my screen. But no, because my uh, dad said because like he was on the deep cover shit, and then like he was all over the chronic. My dad said like, man, it, he said like everybody's waiting for that album, and it was like even like where he was at in like Texas and shit. He was like, yo, that was probably like it's between that and the Ice Cube shit. He said those probably like the most two anticipated albums that he could think of. And then he was thinking about the uh. Then another one, he said the Nas shit after, because, you know, he took so long to respond to uh, Jay after uh, TakeOver. Because that's what, that Godson after that album, I think? Which one is that? I don't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not. The what? Stillmatic? Um, Stillmatic. Stillmatic yeah, had you know. Ether on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that one, yeah. You know Ben Zeno made that, in, that intro? Nope. He was saying, he was the one saying the fuck Jay-Z. What? No. Benzino made the intro for the uh, the album, the Stillmatic oh. intro. Oh, definitely didn't know or care about that. That's a hard-ass beat. You've definitely heard the Jadakiss freestyle before. Probably. Yeah. Was the... Um, is the... the uh, it's, man, Detox probably got to be up there, too. Did you say that? <laughs> we didn't talk <laughs> we, about that. That doesn't exist. We did. We didn't say detox. And I feel like it doesn't count. Ca- it's kind of like the J Electronica thing, where like the the hype is like oh, gone now. It technically does exist though, right? Because detox it became Compton allegedly. Allegedly, I don't know. Yeah, no, I would that no. For at one point that was the hook. You remember the single for detox? The I need a doctor song came out, and then Compton came Nigga, out. Like, I hated later. that song. That song did suck. Dog, Doctor Dre is a fucking menace for that. <laughs> He's absurd. Oh, he really I like just, didn't drop an album after two thousand and one until like Compton the album. Yeah, dog in two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. Two thousand. Yeah, I always thought that came out no one, but it did. That's crazy. He dropped it like a car release. All right, uh, Blake. Uh, I feel like you're the smartest one here. Are you well versed yet in the 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 charges surrounding? Is he really the smartest? Our friends uh, YSL. He be reading newspapers and shit. I think physical newspapers still. I don't know. Yeah, I wish I don't you would have told me I was reading this. I'd have pulled up the other one. Um, it's all good. Oh, you don't got to read it. I just wanted to know if you. Yeah, I was hoping you'd go. Off yeah, the top. I mean, so I believe they're up to twenty eight or twenty nine people now that they've they've wrapped up in this this state RICO charge with YSL. Um, but basically, Young Thug, his record label, has become like one of the most dangerous and like lucrative street gangs in Atlanta. Um, and it's Dumb versus YFN, which is like Lucy and all them other people. I don't even know who else is on YFN. Who else is on YFN? Name another rapper. YFN, YFN, YFN Coochie. Right. <laughs> That's what they probably call him. <laughs> okay. But, um, I did see them talk about somebody else. I don't remember his name, though. Okay. Either way, um, yeah, there's been, like, blood spilled in the streets and all this stuff. And, like, because, like, Young Thug's not necessarily doing all the stuff to himself, but he's just the top of it. Um, they got him put, put as the boss, and, like, he's, like, the shot caller. They won't even give him bomb because they feel like He's probably going to commit another felony if they let him out. They raided his house. He got seven more felonies when they raided his house because what they found at his house, where, where um, whether it be like drugs and guns and shit like that, yeah. and like him being in possession of guns when he shouldn't have and them. And there was other gang members in the house who all other gang members them. in the house, which also can't do when you're already a felon. Um, and at, what Gunna got pulled down with it. Uh, they got Gunna on selling multiple drugs and robbery. Um, they got. Young Thug on renting a car that was used in in a murder. Yeah. Um, yeah, from like 2012 got, or some shit like that. How long ago? Or 2012, 2012 and then 2015. I think the, it was another one too. Something else happened in 2015. Jesus um, Christ. That's when like the drive by thing happened. Where um, God damn, Rich Homie Kwan like popped out the car and he's like, "No, y'all are on some wild shit. I'm not doing this with y'all." 
and they shot somebody and y'all don't, y'all, oh my God. I know, I do remember that. And the, the DA you said after it. that, they, the DA was like, no, I'm not. The fall, they were like, the fallout from that, like, murder had some of the like most violent. Jamal, if I know these things, they're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting with yeah. anybody. <laughs> If no. I know, it's it's well past the... I want to know the <laughs> cop that had to sit there and listen to all this shit, because that indictment, that long ass indictment people's clipping up, that shit had hella lyrics in it from not even just, like, album shit. They had shit from, like, the Bar 6 on there, like, all the all the mixtapes and shit. They're playing yeah, from man. our podcast on the next Vlad episode of Vlad interview. <laughs> I, hey, Thug did say he'd go to prison to fuck somebody's father, so yeah. niggas' daddies better watch out. Maya Moore's husband yeah. got out at the right time. Right. Has his goons been gay, banging for permission to, to take a second attempt on Lucci's life inside the jail? Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. This, this is like one of the moments because I feel like oh, I talked about, I don't know if it was on here, but like, I, I remember saying this to Jamal. It's like in music today, like, I feel like music has never been like so like gang affiliated and like just people banging on tracks and shit, like, as they do yeah, today. Sure. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. Everybody, and this is the it. outcome of it. Like right, like this is what's what's waiting for you on it. Because like you're saying, you're part of this thing. You music is music. Like you know, like it's wrestling, right? That's how I always think about it. Like you say whatever wild shit you want to say, but if you're actually doing those things and that's your inspiration for the music, it's all eventually going to come back to bite you, and then everyone else gets tied in with it. And yeah, you get up with 28 people going down for a Rico. Thug be descriptive. Like he don't even just kind of like be like kind of alluding to shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he be. Uh, on uh, March 13th, we caught a hundred bodies. It's like, what? God damn, man. <laughs> yeah. I gave a lawyer two million. He handled all the killings. They probably were like, he, oh, he wrote a check for two million dollars three days before. That. I didn't kill him. I had something to do with the body, though. I was like, Bruh. yo, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> uh, all right. I, I remember when Thug came out and, you know, he, he was doing like the kind of the flamboyant shit, skirts and leggings and shit. People were making fun of him being gay and all the Atlanta people were like, Y'all need to chill. Like thugs really like that. Like <laughs> that's not what you want. Well, no, and it's like walk with his and everything. Thug was really like that. Yeah, Damn, he would have. Don't do it. I remember he pulled a fucking Desert Eagle fifty cal out of some leopard leggings, and I was like, "What the fuck did I just see, dog?" And it's he has like, one of the funniest like internet videos ever. That dude's a character. Easy. And like the the music fan of me is like, I'm sick. Like Gunna and Thug are like two of the best we have out today. Fact. But like. Honestly, like the the food fit in me is like if y'all oh. really did the shit that they fed, you gotta fuck. They, out. they it. said they got them linked to over a hundred bodies. Nah, they didn't like that, that is fucking it's absurd. Just, it does, it does, it does suck because like Thug does make some good ass music. Like it's one of the most talented. In, and like if if influence. even like a fraction of this shit's true, which I can't imagine, like you're getting this case brought and all your people are wrapped up and none of it's true. If even a fraction of this is true, he's about to probably sit down for quite some time. Like. Yeah. yeah, like even if he beats some charges, he he's still probably looking at some hefty time. He gonna do two to five. He gonna be home soon, man. Happy up. I will say though, uh, we saw the the tweet that has like a bunch of the people's names who got tied up in it. Yeah, and bro. I I I, I, re- I knew the, the South was. I have the list pulled up. The South you was a different names, world, please. but I can't believe uh, De- Dami Keon, Dame Keon Garlington. Quantavius Greer here. Uh, here. Sergio Sergio Kitchens is gonna. There's somebody named Wani e. Lee, like W U I N N I E. Wani e. Lee. Uh, where is this one? Quamarvius Tron Tavius. <laughs> no, that's the one they have. He died. Nigga Tron Tavius. Like that's the name that like that's your nickname. Nah. Tron Tavius. That sounds like the best team. corner in the SEC. Yeah, that's Tay. No, yeah. Yeah. You're a good nickel. Which yeah. makes it even funnier like that Thug, safety. the boss like of all this shit. Is, up. The boss of all like, this shit, Young Thug's name is like Jeffrey. The, uh, <laughs> three evolutions. Jeffrey of Williams. Thug. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Lamar hey, Williams. Y'all niggas better leave. Jeffrey and Tron, Tron Tavius is coming around here. You know, they got to blow this bitch down. I don't like, want no smoke with a nigga named Tron. Dog, uh, if I see any of those names, I don't want to smoke with any of the niggas with some of them names, bro. Uh, Ten Ten Quarius Mender. Oh, those Thank are some of the blackest names I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> T- Tinquarius Mender sends you an Instagram friend request. You know the scam DM is coming next. But you don't want to deny it because he said nigga in person. He going to ask you about it. Hey, nigga, you didn't see my... I, I sent you some shit I didn't know this was you, man. You, you go by cookie out here. I didn't know that was you. I didn't... <laughs> I was about 
nigga, nigga said that James Harden was the mole this whole time. He, oh. had, he had the he had the Blue Lives Matter bandana on or whatever, and Thug was like, James Harden don't got internet. <laughs> it's like, I forgot nah, he, about that. He had internet. He was lying to you, Jeffrey. That's why he started Damn. hanging out with baby afterwards. That's why he's playing like that. Yeah, he's he's probably fucking scared for his life. He's like, hey, oh, what, his energy what, what, just what gas, man. He's been having to put all of his work in. Like, <laughs> uh, I, I was up notes. late last night pushing papers, guys. I wasn't out of the club. I um, if we're are we transitioning out of the YSL topic? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so somebody on uh, speaking of James Harden, they uh captured his performance in the second half of the last five out of six games. In game one, four points, one of four shooting. Uh, game two, four points, one of five shooting. Game three, two points, one of five shooting. Game five, four points, one of five shooting. Game six, zero points, zero two shooting. That's the second half of the last five of the six games. Half, not even just the fourth quarter. I I lost that part after all of them were one for four. Holy yeah. fuck! Like, yeah. He's, and he wants. I, I won't say he wants. To. We don't know what he wants. He's trying to get a max though. Like he he's eligible for a max contract. There's no it's, team in the uh, league that could give it to him right now. It'd be five for 270 is what he could get. You, you cannot give James Harden that based on what you've just seen and based on how we've seen, like, the Russ contract age, the John Wall contract. Absolutely. You can't. No. You can't even give him anything close to that. I know that the mess contract just keep going up the more time you spend in the league. But at, at a certain point, like, this is this is it. Like, there's no player that you could pay that to and be worth it. Even I'm saying, like, Giannis right now, yeah, that yeah. number came up. You would do too much to your roster in order to pay him that much. Like you can't. No. can't. <laughs> two seventy. If you give him two seventy, you got to just give him some ownership stake, and he can start paying the luxury tax with you. Because the last year of that deal is sixty one million dollars. Like that's how much you're paying him for James, for the James Harden deal. The last the last year of it would be that. Yeah, sixty one million. Yeah. And there's, I don't think there's a world where James Harden is a even good. If, based on how he's looked the past year and some change. I don't think there's a world where he is a good NBA player or even decent NBA player in five years. Like he might not be retired, but he's not gonna be good. He's coming off the bench somewhere or something. I I think to get the MVP Harden back, like he has to play on a bad roster. Like you have to put him on a bad team. Yeah, but he yeah, like he's not even doing ridiculous ass numbers. Yeah. Doing, like the high volume yeah. shit that we would expect from. Like you're in an elimination. He game, can't blow past. He can't blow half. past people no more. Yeah, he doesn't get by anybody. He's not really hitting threes anymore. Like. It hit, maybe it's a, a tired thing or something because yeah, go over two in the second half of an elimination game is absurd. He I was really thinking about Kyrie for going either, man. two for seven. <laughs> this nigga went over two. No, I mean, they just told Shake Milton to get out there and go crazy the whole game. Like I don't know yeah. what the fuck they had going on in Philly. Tyrese Max lead us to the sucked. victory land, lead us to the promised land. And we yeah. could talk about um I man, see, I'm not letting him get off on this one though. Uh, Tobias Harris too, the de- goddamn thief. Oh, um, can you can you? He had some good up? games though. He he he, did, he, he some no, good games. Did he have some good quarters? Did he have Stop. some good quarters? Nah, I don't. Mm. Nobody in Philly, in Philly had good games except for Embiid, and he had. Let one. me tell no, you, Tobias, Tobias had Harris had is the sixteenth highest paid player in the NBA. Has yeah, he played? He had a couple games play? this playoffs so. like, Good games for sixteenth um, highest paid player in the league. If you had more play, than Embiid. Hey, okay, listen. If not even just the league, but if you had to just draft all the like all the teams that made the playoffs this year, and you're just mm-hmm. drafting players, drafting players, where does Tobias Tobias Harris isn't going go in top twenty? No, let me tell you. So 18th ranked highest paid player. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give you 18th, 17th, no, 15th, and 14th. 18th okay. is Luka Doncic, 17th <laughs> Kyrie Irving, 15th Jimmy Butler, 14th Chris oh, yeah, Milton. Dude, we know he's overpaid like fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue yeah. with that. I'm just saying he had a couple. That's what I'm like saying. Playoffs. That's that's taking up like that's so. If you figure his 37 no, he, million dollar roster slot, no, he, it's taking up a big like chunk of caps. An all-star, for sure. But I'm saying like that. That's why the the focus kind of needs to spin back to him too. We talk about Harden, but like as far as roster construction for Philly goes, this is a big issue as well because if if, yeah. if you have a guy who scores 16 points a game making 37 million dollars. For you like that that's a big fucking issue like spin no, that yeah, somewhere else sure. you can and get that, you can part get that, about that a lot is of like people. i think the consensus if ever like everybody who watches the league who in the, the league, has the best when he signed that everybody was like huh that didn't make any sense and that contract never made any sense hell no unless he was in orlando or detroit where it's like hey we need you to be the guy but that making that contract on a team where he's the fourth fifth option on a nightly basis no fucking shot 
No, and like free agency the year that he signed that, I think that there was like Clay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard, um, Julius right. Randle was that free agency. DJ. Like, who? Yeah, because they had to choose Jimmy Butler over. They had to choose no, DJ Jimmy from Butler Jimmy. Tobias, or who like who they were gonna pay. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and um, fucking. Oh man, dude, who's on the Timberwolves? The point guard, the D'Lo. D'Lo is that free agency too. But if, even like if I, I was thinking about them, like if they had Julius Randle. Like Julius Randle, his big fault right now with us is that like he has to be the number one option, and he's not that. But if he's playing behind Embiid, um, if he's like playing behind like Embiid and Harden, even like, and he just has to go find it when they they're cold and like they're dealing with double teams and he's not, like he's gonna cook on that fucking team. He's not gonna be doing whatever the fuck Tobias here is, dude. I don't know, like they they got like three more years of this shit too. Yeah, feel like a horrible just, job of of building their roster. They they had all the like I won't say leverage, but they had all the like assets after like the tanking shit, and it looked like they cashed in for like all of one season when Ben Simmons and Embiid both look good, and it's just like they've had like they've had good seasons. I won't say they've had bad seasons. They just had like nothing to show for any of the last like decade and a half of an organization. Yeah, and like the Ben Simmons thing, like it obviously it didn't help, but it wasn't like that wasn't the only problem. Like oh for sure, yeah for sure. Well, shit, they lost that year when the Raptors won the uh, championship. Like, dog, didn't yep. they win game seven on, like, a game winner, the Raptors? Like, dog, they were. Bounce, yep. That was bounce. that bounce. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, and that was that would have put them to the Eastern Conference Finals, wouldn't it? Or was that the Eastern Conference Finals? No, that was. Uh, that was the Eastern Conference Finals, yeah. Oh, okay. That was three years ago to the day yesterday. Oh, yeah. So, like, that's that's what they've got is uh, one of the most heartbreaking <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Conference losses, playoff losses ever. Uh, no, that they was have crazy. to show for the 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 Sam Hinkie, Daryl Murray, whatever era. Oh, just think about how different it would be. Like, dog, they took faults. They fucked up. Oh, Siakam was that same free agency too. Yeah, yeah. If they have Jason Tatum <laughs> instead of Fultz right now, like maybe Tatum's not as good because like the coaching situation is not as good. But like this team is fifty times better. Yeah. Whoever the kid Shout was that they try to kill, uh, Zaire Williams or Zaire Smith or whatever, they traded oh, Mikel man. Bridges for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they traded Mikel Bridges for him and then try to murder him with fucking peanuts. Yeah, I think they paid they paid Al Horford that same free agency. And that didn't work. Nigga, I forgot Al Horford ever played for the Sixers. Nigga, I forgot about that. They gave him a fucking bag to play behind him. Beat. Fuck. Now he's gonna play alongside him. Beat. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yo, you're kind of flow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, that, that team is – that team has been that. good enough that they don't get the slander that they really deserve, even though they, they get slandered pretty pretty decently online, but they don't get the slander that they deserve. They got uh, to find a way to give them the fuck out of When it. they shot the confetti early against Boston like four years ago, but then ended up losing the series. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, man. I will uh, say no, I feel bad for Embiid, but Embiid tried to do some bullshit last week, so fuck that thing. He was uh, trying to get citizenship so he could play on the uh, the France national team instead uh, of playing for, like, Cameroon or Africa or whatever, wherever country he's from. He's from Cameroon, yeah. Yeah. But he speaks, but he speaks French, you know? Fuck he, that, man. he probably man, just did that because he, he, he wanted to take uh, Rudy's spot. No, and they beat that nigga, man. <laughs> With who? Yeah, who Pascal, that's it. Oh, didn't uh, Mike Brown have Nigeria hooping in the Olympics this year? It's not Cameroon. And it's still Africa. <laughs> that's not Cameroon, though. It's in that's Africa. not the team. It's like yeah, saying man. the Mexico team should be nice because they're on North America with us. I'm just what saying, man, about? stick stick with your people, man. We should go play in France for them. There's Africans you know, you know? in France. <laughs> Nigga, he's not in France, though. He's not from France. Nigga's from Africa, bro. Play no, it's African probably like country. a thing. Is Cameroon probably has like it's probably like a former French colony, some like I'm, all yeah, back and forth. Like is. y'all cut him. When I was in Italy, there's bail. hella Africans, bro. I don't think no, I you know. I don't think you know why you're not cutting him any bail, though. Why would you want him to play why. for Nigeria? You just want him to play for an African country in general. Yeah, play play from the play for the African country you in. Take pride in where you are from, nigga. But he's not in Nigeria. Why did you mention Mike Brown? But I'm saying like, yo, like Mike Brown had an African country team hooping in the Olympics. So I don't know why they you gotta go. Did they win a game? You don't gotta go dick eat France to go play for they, their team. But they went. They didn't win a game. That though. dick eating. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Uh, I'm sure it's like if you have the option from your country to get a passport from two countries, 
how is it fucked up if you go play for like the better team of the two? So I, I, I'll say this: this is me personally. Me, I respect him more if he if he if he stayed at a uh, play for the Cameroon team, and thugged it out with his people instead of oh, dicking okay. another. You were, instead you of dicking another place. Okay. Instead of him dicking another place, go play with them. So you put, oh yeah, they got some Africans over there, but they also got like white people and shit over there too. No, nah, miss. Stick with your country and play where you're from, man. Rip your hood, man. So if Nigeria said you could play for their team, would you turn it down so you could stick and play with your people? I feel like it's different, though, for us. It's not. It's the same shit. What is happening right now? Nah, you're you know absurd. No, nah, fuck that. I'm going to play for Africa. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go play for Africa. What, but you're not what, leaving what? Africa. Oh, my God. Okay. Leaving Africa and joining Africa is totally different. What makes you look worse? Because like niggas, make- <laughs> niggas gonna be like, oh, you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna, you gonna, uh, you gonna go join Africa and leave us? All right, I respect the black man, but like, yo, know, if you leave us to go play somewhere, Ooh, else, like, who's giving out this clout? Are yeah, they giving me? out the medals too? I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just saying, this this is me, this is how I look at it. Yeah, you- <laughs> Moral victory for minor league coaches. Yeah, like if Tyrell was like, "Oh man, I'm I'm gonna join the uh, I can represent uh my place of work for this country, or I can go uh do it in Africa." Like, oh, that, yo, my nigga, I got you. I, I, I respect it's that. It's a big ass continent. Like, what? Like, what are you saying, Africa? Like, well, some place in Africa. Either way, you niggas know what I'm saying. Y'all just y'all just trying to be. Different. I think it's a wild take when you like don't understand the dynamics between them and Europe, like the people that live there and the people that, like. No, I know I, I I know there's all kind of people in Europe, bro. I'm just saying. No, man. but I'm saying you don't understand the dynamics from someone from Cameroon and like how he might feel about France. It's not the same way that you're saying it. You're saying it like fuck them, like stay home with your people. But it's like, yo, my people are just as much in France as they are here. Like that's how they're probably seeing it. But you're not seeing it that way because you're not from there. Nah, he just want to. He just want to go dicky, go play over there. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. He's like, God damn, Nick Batum. Tony Parker, can I come hang out with y'all? I just I want to know what he's dick eating. France. Baguettes. There you go. Either way, man. Hey man, fucking beat. So that's why they lost. Go home, loser. And it was kind of corny about like the, how he handled the press conference shit too. Oh, well, we traded for James Harden. Like the niggas are honest. I get that, but damn, bro, you can't say shit. Like, he's just throwing niggas under the bus. The shit no, about not having the tough players like PJ Tucker, that was kind of crazy. Saying James yeah. Harden's no longer Houston Harden, he's a playmaker like, yeah. now. Like, bro, are you fucking serious? I thought that was like, I thought that was like a ball sack sports like account when I seen that. No, man, that nigga sit that live of the uh, press like, conference. Didn't y'all just lose a teammate last year for me and Spicy like this? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, like nobody told you to play with a fucked up ligament and CTE. Cause he got the concussion and everything, but like, bro, like that's man. You can't. I just feel like you can't. You just can't go out and say that, bro. Like, all you gotta do is oh. just like, hey, man, we lost. I wasn't my best. Our team could have played better. It's niggas. Oh man, we don't got tough niggas like uh, whole ass Jimmy Butler on our team no more. And um, James what? Harden. James James Harden is washed now, but this nigga we got, so we gotta deal with it. That's pretty much <laughs> what he <you're> saying. <laughs> hey, this this. This nigga's washed. So, but yeah, this but, is what we got. What, what would, what do do? I feel, what would we prefer him to say? Like, oh, uh, we got to be better. Nigga, just, uh, you know, like that. We, I don't like that. Just the same just shit say, we cut hey, people man. for saying when they don't say anything. Just say you don't gotta. You, you don't gotta do all that. Say, hey, we lost, but bro, you don't gotta say the nigga's washed and that's not who he is no more. Like, come on, man. Is it true? Or, the the right thing to do is like calm down. And you put it on yourself. Like, yeah, you know what? Like, man, we didn't have enough tonight. They were the better team. I've got to be better. I'm going to make sure I put in the work this offseason to come back so I can be better down these playoffs. Like, not definitely. The nigga said we traded for a bag of chips, and he's not that anymore. So, yeah. And I wish I was still playing with Jimmy Butler. Thought they should have jumped that nigga in the locker room, bro. He's going to beat their asses. <laughs> he can't beat everybody up. Yes, like, he can. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Dog, he got dude, he just got a concussion two days ago. You hit that nigga one time in his head, he's probably gonna have a fucking seizure. He's, he's a foot taller than nigga. everybody else on the team. They're all hey, tiny and weak. Moment of silence for your fellow Tar Heel, though, Danny Green. That might be it. You get an hey. ACL tear 35 years old this late. What are you gonna that that knee look nasty? That shit was yeah. gross. Oh uh, um, yeah, no, nah, RP to him. Hey man, at least he won a uh, ring. Yeah. And you got a he got a natty too, don't he? 
Yes, sir. Legend. Oh, he won two rings. He won back to back rings. Oh shit. That's crazy. Back-to-back he was. Oh, yeah, he, he went he was in the Raptors to Los Angeles, yeah. Oh man, legend. Hall of Famer. And the Spurs. Now. He has a Spurs ring? He has to have a Spurs ring. Yeah. yeah. He probably got three. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga might have came up. I don't even feel bad for the nigga no more. He had a good life. Might be a, like a Naismith Hall of Famer off accolades, like things he's been a part of, not necessarily stats. Facts, just uh, by association. Yeah, that's why I was trying yeah. to make the case for you and all of man. Like he has enough things on his name. That maybe he's in. Yeah, no, nah, man. Yeah, no. Nah, R.I.P. to his knee, but hey, man, it was. If he does retire and decide to hang it up, man, he had a good career, man. Shout out to Danny Green. He came a long way from dancing on the sidelines with LeBron's to becoming a good, complete three and deep. Crazy long way. Are you kidding me? That is a long way. I forgot about that. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Sidelines with JJ Hickson and fucking Jamario Moon. Ira Newman. I don't know all these in that picture. That's a picture. Sasha Pavlovich. Sasha yeah. Pavlovich, yeah. All right, y'all got the other playoff series. Y'all want to let's, let's talk about you guys want to talk about uh, uh Chris Bucks Ball. going to seven. Oh, Finding a way to fumble the bag. The Bucks are going to seven as of tonight. Uh, what Suns are going to seven? This I, I gotta fucking find the stat again. I think Chris Paul is like the only something to blow multiple two zero leads and like. I think I four. Saw that. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, four did you know the stat about Drew Holiday? Nah. For today's game, he scored like one hundred seventy four points off one hundred and sixty three shots. God damn, that does make sense. Good, he's right? not. He's not super efficient. Man, he's been shooting hell or like anything. That's good or like, that's bad. It's bad. Yeah, hundred. Yeah, he's yeah. taking almost as many shots as he's had points. Yeah, sure. There's the big numbers. You set him really fast. So I was like, mm. yeah, <laughs> but it makes sense because was that playoffs in general? Or was that this series, bro? Damn. Was that this, was that this series or? I think that's just the playoffs. Him and shooting those. Okay. That makes sense though, because yeah, he's been shooting a lot. Like Middleton's been out. He's not yeah. very efficient ever. Dog. He goes the back down thing though. He be bullying people. Yeah, he dog. I, damn. I wonder how uh, Marcus Smart played today. I haven't. I obviously didn't get a chance to watch the game, but I know they I hated that motherfucker after that last game, especially where he tried to act like he was going to get that call in that game winning strip. Yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a shot attempt. They fucked up. That was a three point attempt. All right, Bill Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> but first, Pearl Jam. Oh fuck! Oh, I know. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so of the series left, who you guys think is winning? Who's winning the uh, the Bucks Celtics game seven? Bucks. You got? I got the Bucks too. I pray. I fucking pray. Yeah, well, I think the Bucks too, man. This okay. is the Celtics are fucking tragic, man. And they had they had the night tonight where they all shot crazy. So yeah, like Tatum was hooping, and then he dropped forty seven. And then uh, Phoenix, Dallas. You guys got Phoenix coming out? You think Dallas is going to pull it off? I think Dallas. Dallas, man. Luca's that fucking guy. I mean, I mean, Giannis Giannis has probably solidified himself as the best player in the NBA, like, at this point. Um, And it probably should have been after last year, after that run he had last year. But Luca is is whatever it is that's right below that to to everything else. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, Luka, 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 Luka. I lost the twenty dollar bet on Luca because me and Brantley bet that uh, I said Luca wouldn't get a single MVP vote right before the playoffs started, and he got or at least a top three vote. This motherfucker got one second place vote and then like a hella fifth place vote. Fucking dickhead. They just keep hilarious. running pick and rolls and targeting fucking Chris Paul and Booker. Fucking both of them up. Like <laughs> <laughs> Luca's going to work. Him and Booker. <laughs> him and Booker having a little fun back and forth. They clearly don't like each other. I, I think fucking I think CP3 has a legendary game, game seven, man. Oh no, he's playing like shit since he turned 37. I seen them numbers today. He's playing like god awful ass. Hey, last time they needed an elimination game. Is that the one where he went 14 to 14? 14. Yeah. Hey, and you, you know what I've seen today though? Uh yeah. Scott Foster was supposed to coach the, or ref this uh oh, Bucks Celtics no. game, and he was sat down for a non-COVID illness. That man's that man's uh, getting a little rested before he goes to this. Hey, that's all Suns game seven. Side, if Scott Foster refs that game, I'm putting hundred and fifty dollars on on the Dallas to win. Cover whatever the spread too. is. Yeah, if Scott Foster's coach that, I'm. I'm I saw that like plus three hundred this morning. Oh yeah, let me let me find out Scott Foster calling the game. They'll probably change the odds, honestly. You think that matters? They yes, yeah, they will. 
He's never that won shit, a game. All that shit matters. When, he's never won a game when Scott Foster ref the game. That's a lot of times when they show you like the preview for the boss score, they, they tell you the refs who are doing it right underneath it too. So that stuff matters just for something. Mm-hmm. Son's got a plus seven hundred. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that'd be hilarious. Um, and then so then based on your guys' theories, which I agree with, we'd have uh the Bucks versus the Heat, and we'd have what uh Golden State versus or no, that series not over yet, right? Yeah, they play tomorrow. They play tonight. They play tonight. So we'll see if Golden State closes out tonight. Um, I would imagine they will, but we'll see. Uh, playing the winner of Dallas. Fuck Golden State. I hope they lose. <laughs> you still hate Clay Thompson? Is that the problem? Nigga, or is it because you bet on them to win and they lost by 50? Nigga. I thought that was free money with no jaw. I saw the score. I still can't believe that shit happened. They was up like 20. I'm like, okay, they, they, they playing around. They going to make it dramatic. I got a notification from Bleacher Report. I'm like, wait, nigga, they're up how much? Them niggas were it was like 118 to 60 or whatever the fuck uh, they, were. they were up 55 at one point. I thought that shit was a typo in the NBA. I, I thought like That's they just I had fuck, fuck the score up. I was scratching my eye. I was like, man, hell no. That can't be right. <laughs> they got gaped. Yo, oh absurd. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's absurd. Um, Dog, it's so crazy to me how long the playoffs be lasting that you just kind of like forget what happened. Like I completely forgot Atlanta was in the playoffs. Three weeks ago, sure, like that shit sure. just moves your your brain just like moves on from that shit. So probably for the better because you're gonna have a fucked sure. up image of Trey Young in your head if you, you yeah, think about yeah. that. Oof. Well, I think of Trey Young. Best I, moment. I see that picture. Of the I did. Of the I did want to ask you guys about this. I don't know if you guys have been seeing this too, but like the because of how they play, like the default's been to compare Jaw to like Derrick Rose and compare Jaw to the, um, like Russell Westbrook. And I keep seeing like I know Colin Cowherd said it. I want to say Stephen A. Smith has said it, which. So they're kind of whatever, like, um, but kind of like just a, the assumption that John Morant will be Derrick Rose because we've seen Derrick Rose do it once. But I feel like we've seen more of the like uber athletic point guards have longer careers. Derrick Rose is really the only one I can think of where it's like, yeah, he, he got hurt to, yeah, like he he, you know, like kind accidents. of walk towards the end of his year. But yeah, Derrick Rose just started having like just freak knee accidents. That's yeah, but it was just it's just been interesting to see like. Oh yeah, like oh you know he's super bouncy and athletic. Like his career won't be that long. It's like Russell Westbrook. He stinks now. Granted, he stinks, uh, but it's on year like thirteen in the league. Like had, that hasn't really had any injury. It's problems. it's the falls though, right? That's that's the thing with yeah. With Jaw. He doesn't. Ever I mean, I remember that with Derrick Rose, problems. but like that's the thing with with Jaw. Like he's been hurt three times now in these playoffs. I guess like, that's true. Yeah, the Bone Bruce. Thing, that's just the playoffs after missing time in every single season that he's played so far. So yeah, I guess it's not it's not out of nowhere. He missed time this year. I didn't remember him missing time of the year. Yeah, they missed time like every year. Twenty-one and three without him this year. They need to change <laughs> His defense is god awful. That's what it is. Like so, once once he's out of there, one the ball moves around more, but two like their team defense is better. So when when All you have a high players. usage player like that, like he was efficient this year, but it's like he he struggled in the Timberwolves series. Um. Losing him and going back to like y'all being able to lock in and switch better and do all that type of shit and you don't have someone out there who's getting targeted over and over again, like you're going to play better basketball. Um, it, it's so, so, it's hard to think that way because he's so dynamic, but it, it makes sense when like the rest of their roster plays as well as it does together. Do you think uh, he has? Do you think he's too cool to get the Donovan Mitchell treatment where people just kind of cool on him and think that that type of game won't win you. Yeah, Jaws, think Jaws because people think he's cool. unreal level. Of cool. Jaws, Jaws, like yeah. he's not he's not Mike Vick, but he's on the Mike Vick path of coolness. Like he's <laughs> he, he's so cool. We like his daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah the streets are going to turn on Jaws. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah. I just like, Jaws played 67, 63 like and 57 games. Like playing 65 plus games or 63 games isn't like missing hell of time. Young as hell, though, bro. Like it's that's true. That's true. That's true. That's the point. <laughs> this is when you're supposed to be able to play through anything. Yeah. Yeah, but like times is different now. Like guys, like we're growing up. Like niggas ain't playing 75, 82 games no more. Like start Jokic fat on, on, on athletic ass those every year. I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah, nah, right. they'll never turn on Ja. Long, like as long as he never leave, like that, that's they'll never turn on him. Shit, Memphis still love uh that whole grit and grind team. Oh yeah. Yep. Even even Tony Allen. <laughs> they retired his jersey. Yeah. Not after the thing. It was before the thing. What was it? Oh, with like the fraud shit, whatever? With the health shit? Yeah. 
he went back on that show yet, man. I figured they could chop it up and figure some shit out because Chris Vernon was saying, like, that's like my uh my kids, like godfather and everything. Like, so y'all want me to come up here and talk about him, but like I can't do it. I hope you didn't do this, but I can't like I'm I, I need to talk to Tony. Enough. And he ain't been back on the show since and I'm like, mm-hmm. damn. Is he in jail? No, no I think he's oh, out. Okay. Yeah, everybody's out. Yeah, because Darius Miles got caught up in that shit too. Because I thought Knuckleheads was. I gonna, think uh, yeah, Darius Miles. I think it's the ringleader, wasn't it? I don't know. I had, put it on the it was either him, him or Tony Allen were the ringleader. That was a white man. A white man was the big baby. I'm probably tricked it. Probably. Was oh yeah, no, actually, no. Fuck that. Was big baby. Fuck big baby. He's all. Hey, my mic's up. Be hella fucking low. I had to come all the way in here. Yo. Pause. But um. This audio's about to be fucking trash, man. What you want to do? But no, nah, yeah, it was been, definitely been big been baby. Finer than we made is that all the playoff series? Yeah, I guess we covered them all. But yeah, there's only a couple left. Oh man, I, I didn't. I put I put Snowfall wrap up on here, and I didn't actually finish it. I was like on the second to last episode. You son of a bitch! I did finish Ozark though. I don't know if y'all did. I'm did y'all like Ozark? Ozark? Oh, y'all didn't finish. I'm not I done. Did. I mean, we got a couple episodes oh, left. Do we all finish Winning Time? Fuck no. I, I started it, watching it, it again, but it's, it's really based on a true story, so I don't, uh, I don't think you can spoil anything. I I stopped watching three episodes in because it's been hella boring. It was hella boring. I'll get back to it eventually. Not gonna lie, William Time might be my favorite show this year. <laughs> Why? Because Magic Johnson's eating prostitute ass and reminds you of yourself. Wait, so you said William Time's hella boring, Tyrell? Yeah, like the first the first episode was like intriguing to see some stuff. But they just kind of kept dragging on the like. It gets better as it goes. I, I don't know. It, I've heard it gets it keeps getting better. Winning but after the first couple episodes, fire. it was just like the same kind of thing over and over again. So I was trying to figure out like maybe there's like a dynamic to watching the show that I was missing, like whether it be like it's fun to talk about it like on social media or something like that. Or Not like, really. I'm missing it that part of it. Like, media. Yeah, people like have okay. the jokes about what Magic's doing and like uh, kind of some of the other relationships with like Kareem and everybody and like the coach and stuff or like. Spencer Haywood putting the hit out on uh, Jack McKinley or whatever, but and it was on dog food. Yeah, like and I, yeah, there's definitely some better parts. I think there was just a lull where I was at, where it's like where Doctor Bus is like Bro. arguing about losing like, a team, the and they're talking about kind of like how to make money, and it's like oh, I don't give a fuck about none of this. You guys, you got to tell me, <laughs> tell me about the ending. What you guys' reaction was to the end of episode eight, bro? This most ridiculous, unnecessary shit ever. Can I just tell you guys? Yes. Oh, uh, so like. So you know about Jerry West's mom, right? You know she like they found out she like can't, she was like sick or whatever. No, I don't. Oh, oh well, well she's dead now. So, but obviously she was like sick and dying, whatever. So this nigga find out like something's wrong with his mom. His mom got cancer, right? So you know, uh, nigga's rich, whatever. So the nigga has like a housemaid, whatever. And then he's like, hey, why are you always uh coming in so late? She's got to like because she's like going to school, and then she take care of his mom. So like, you know what? Thank you for taking care of my mom. I'm gonna look out for you. So uh, I'm going to pay your, uh, the rest of your school shit. You keep working with my mom, but thank you for being so good to her. So fucking something's wrong with this car. And then like um, she, no, I think something's wrong with her car. So he's going to take her home. Then he like confides to her and tells her that uh, his mama got cancer. She doesn't have much longer to live. So he just breaks down and starts crying. And she's like, oh, it's okay. Then they can just start sucking her titties. And ends the episode like that. What the fuck? <laughs> his mom? No, nigga, no, the yeah, he finds out his mom has cancer. He starts like, like the woman that's taking care of his mom, like the maid. But like, bro, literally, nigga, literally just found out his mom has cancer. He like doesn't tell anybody except her. She's like, oh, it's okay because she takes care of his mom. So they have like a. You think they're gonna have like just like a good like wholesome moment? He's like, damn. <laughs> okay, now I see why Jerry West would like be tweeting and being mad at folks. That's absurd. <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah. I thought it was just about like how they had a mad and like wanted to win all the time, but you got nah, he, he was mad by that. that. He was mad by episode two. Like he was like okay. on, he was on this early. No, this, it was three titties up. Gary Bus. But no, okay, nigga, nigga found out his mom was about to die and told the maid they to start the one. Nigga, to he said Dog, Jerry like Bus. I'm so mad at you. Yeah, my fault, Jerry Bus. Dog, you guys gonna see that scene? The worst it's fucking so story fucking it makes way more sense now that it's Jerry Buss because he would definitely be sucking a titty. It makes way more sense now. I was like, damn, Bro, Jerry West was doing that? That's absurd. Cancer. She has like three days to live. Yeah, That's probably not... would suck a titty. You gotta see the scene, bro. It reminds you of you. being a kid. All right. <laughs> I don't have those memories. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but whatever. I... 
second kid. Yeah, I feel like it. All right. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? You want to talk some NFL, Blake? What the, what's the fix? No. Get out of here. No. no you're skip- I got shit on. That shit. Why? Why? I do. All right. Go ahead. You didn't I have watch- it on here. You, you want to talk about it and didn't watch any of it. I did watch Atlanta. I put that on there. Yeah, you did. I said everything below the hyperlink is me. Everything below yeah, hyperlink you didn't is me. Watch, you didn't finish either of the first two shows? I did. I finished Ozark. Right, what the right, fuck? Right. You didn't. Yeah. Damn. Tyrell's a new Tony. That's crazy. How? Jesus Christ. My bad. All right, man. man. That's a bit much. No, but I know y'all haven't been watching Atlanta, but I'm just, I just want to talk about like, your thoughts on the season in general because I know you guys did start it. Man. It's fucking Come back up? Yeah, I'm caught up. I didn't watch last night's episode. It comes out Thursday, right? Yes, but when I asked you before, you hadn't. That's not why I'm asking you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I caught up till the show. Okay. Yeah. This shit is weird, right? Like, what the fuck? It's fucking mid. They're doing all these what? Like, weird, like outside of the group. Like you, you said it earlier. Like they're doing all these. Yeah. Things, they're not like, focusing on the group, and then like they're not even really that good. They're kind of corny. It's literally every other, and then like this last one that was on the group. Not not yesterday, but like last week's obviously. Yeah. Um. It was it was the like, this. I'm guessing this is like a seasonal thing now, where it's just the owl wandering around episode. Like, yeah. That's what this this last one was, and it's just oh, it's just it, fucking weird. Even that good. The no. one where he was wandering around with the barber. That episode was funny as fuck. Yeah, like or do we got like lost in the woods or whatever? Like, yeah. Um. Was that that might have been the first season, but like th- this this show was like gotten like I think. Bigger than itself, almost at this uh, point. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm give it a just him being weird. I wasn't feeling the Chet Hanks and the Liam Neeson shit in the show, bro. I thought that shit was corny. I wasn't fucking with that. I thought the Chet one was funny. The Liam one, like he, the conversation that he had was kind of real. I was surprised that they got him for that. Um, but yeah. it, it kind of just fits the season where shit's just like, okay. Like, yeah. it's like, what's the point of this? Like, this is fucking stupid. This is the stance. This is the you wanted to make this point here. Like, all right. Yeah, I kept. I seen people making the point of like this was him like turning the mirror to white America, but like that's not why any of us watched the show for the first several seasons. Like, I did. I wasn't expecting to come to. This is a different show than the rest of the seasons. Other than it's like, not, like yeah, bro, it's not the same show. It's a very different show. Yeah, yeah. That's like you could, the first one what didn't have like a super strict storyline, but this was just like, all right, you saw that they went to Europe, so here's them like kind of getting into stuff, and then every other episode is reparations and then whatever like it doesn't make any sense to me I have zero clue like what the standing is of like how paperboy's career is going at this point like i mean he's he's obviously over there for a tour he seems extremely but, famous in a lot of the places they go yeah the yeah part. are things trending upwards for him at this which, point which how yeah he's like hella famous he was like hey earn i need 20k and like earn just got it for him like they just had any throwing money like wait two seconds like last the middle of last season this nigga was broke performing at a fucking College, <laughs> like how did that escalate? That's my favorite episode of that. Like, that was the one of the oh man, sure. that yeah. episode was iconic. But yeah, like it it went from four, basically five episodes of the six episodes of the show ago, he was performing at a college for free, and now he's in Europe, like blowing money fast and yeah, uh, and like doing like going to weird back parties and shit. Yeah, bro, this shit is ass. Like, dog, the problem I, is, man, like. They don't got Tracy on there, man. He was the he was the glue. Even if they did, they what don't have him for two episodes. Uh, oh, I, yeah. He would save pop the up. show. Gotta pop up. He would save the show. I did. I did like the episode they did with like the fake Gucci though, like with like the whole like all the black people that like are, like on the the apology circuit. They had like fake oh, D-Ray, yeah. like fake Sean King, and all that stuff. Yeah, mm. that shit was that, that was, it was it was poignant. I thought because. Um, that really is how it does. Like, I mean, they companies like will apologize to um, get certain black people stand next to them when they apologize to make shit feel right or whatever. And some people just always tend to be on that circuit of making sure they're there for the companies to apologize to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm, I'm hella disappointed in this season, dude, because I was like hella excited for the show to come back. Like, we had to wait, like, what, two, three years? Yeah, like two and a half years. Yeah, it, ended, yeah. it ended pre COVID, before COVID happened. Yeah, man. Nah, this shit is this shit is mid as fuck. But they said season four is already shot and done and like ready to go. So hopefully, like maybe this oh. one was like I thought maybe this one, one. No, they said the next one's already done. Oh. The next one's the last one. This is oh, the appetizer nice. for the super mid. Okay, maybe. Uh, well, I think I'm guessing that I'm hoping what happened here is this was what they threw together while shit was like hard to shoot. Yeah. The next one's like gonna be the banger. 
They need to go that back. That makes a lot more that. sense. I thought they said this was the last season, so I, that's why I was even more upset. If there's another season, I guess it can be redeemed, but this season is cheeks. Yeah. Awesome. Ooh, our shit comes back in a few weeks, uh, Tyrell. Oh, and Nikki, that's already on my calendar, brother. Yeah. I'm about to, I'm about to rewatch P Valley uh, before I finish Ozark, quite Wait, frankly. Can you watch that? No, uh, I just keep still talking about it on the JVP, though. <laughs> He's like, that's the show, Fucking Mississippi care. or something like that, Mississippi. M I Cookalet Cookalet. <sighs> Yeah, no, no, that's, that's my shit. That show. that show is fucking hard. There are some some prime athletes on that show, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. Now the fucking Halo show. The time, man. Who got Dude. the cheeks clap? All right. This show is a fucking mess, and I'm honestly disgusted and just like upset that they okayed this. This thing has been like canceled like four times. And brought back with different studios, and they finally got it to roll out now on Paramount Plus, and it's like their one of their their big pieces and showcases people subscribe and pay for their service. And I'm saying like this shit is like it's a it's a, just a giant fucking slap in the face to Halo fans, and it's not even a good show. Period. I said this earlier about the show. I kept watching. I came around on it a little bit because I was like, okay, they're doing their own thing. They're stepping out in their own way, and just. It's weird, but like as as long as you don't think about this needing to be the halo that you think about, it's okay, but it's not. It's not. It's fucking not. I'm going to spoil some shit here, but just bear with me, folks out there. I'm trying to save you from watching this. Everybody, like, I don't even have one on my fucking desk right now. Um, So in the Halo universe, Spartans are these kids that are they started out as kids they get abducted as kids they get put into these camps they get trained up to be super soldiers they get like augments done to their bodies like wolverine and shit like that so that they're wild strong and their armor can make them like be able to flip a tank over and shit um and of those spartans master chief john 117 the group the dude in the green armor that's on the cover of the halo boxes some people just might think his name is halo or whatever um he's the one like he's better than the rest of them better than all of them and he was better than all of them from the fucking start, like when he was a kid. When Halsey found him when he was a kid, he was throwing other kids off the top of the King of the Hill thing, just beating their asses because he was bigger and stronger than everybody else. And he's a fucking ginger and never took his helmet off like once he got his armor on. Like he just left that shit on all the time. He's like had a ghostly um skin underneath it because it never fucking came off. In this show, his helmet comes off in the first fucking episode for him to convince a human that hey everything's okay you can trust me when he has no reason to fucking do this he like just disobeyed a direct order for no reason which spartans don't do and he would never do he's like to the mission all the fucking time that's Um, i don't play halo and i know that's a violation that's absurd yes (laughs) what this is this is the show so not only like so this is how they have master chief he's like a fucking emotional wreck because he touched a stone and it made him see shit which is fucking crazy too because that's not how this works with him um he has like some type of forerunner blood power shit now where he can touch like forerunner objects and he sees visions and shit right um they have him interact with this human who's like a rebel and they gave her her own storyline which is also fucking horrible Quan, which nobody cares about um damn this nigga hates everybody i do um and basically fast forward long story short the covenant ends up attacking a planet where the humans are on um and they once they blast this planet and kill everybody, they leave behind one human. The Covenant shoot a human off their ship and leave her there. The human they left behind, they had captured a long time ago, and she was like a sleep agent for them. Like They thought of her as like a prophet, because she could also touch a stone and see wild shit. So, because she could touch a stone and see wild shit, and Master Chief could too, of course, they like that about each other. They end up fucking, like, Master Chief has sex. <laughs> In front of Cortana, and right? It, like, Cortana was like, Cortana's in his head, so she sees the whole entire oh, thing. Jesus Christ. They're that's calling all. her Cuck-tana. Cuck-tana, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Can girls be cucks? Yeah, it's I called, guess, yeah, it's right. I thought it was only like some dude shit. I don't know. No. Equal rights. Um, okay. But either way, yeah, I mean, so he just met this chick. She got left behind by the Covenant. She speaks Sang- Sanghealy language, like Sanghelios, like alien shit. Um, and he implicitly trust her and got him going like all over the spaceship doing wild missions and shit like that he fights two spartans without his armor on because his mind's just fucking blown and like he's not thinking straight um 
He gets his ass kicked. He gets saved by another Spartan who took out her emotional blocker thing because she saw him do it, who had just got her ass kicked before because she took her helmet off trying to tell him to stop. Hey, we can't go get Chief. Um, it's just, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. Just don't. It needs to stop, and it's not over. It's still going. How many episodes is this season supposed to be? I don't know. They've gone through eight, and it's eight, eight too many. Like it, it needs. I would say because I I stopped at four, so I haven't watched it in a little bit. Have there been any good episodes? Because I've heard people like kind of yeah, first episode was hard. Sour on it a little bit after. There are there's like good before. parts of these episodes. Like even this last episode I'm talking about, the scene where the Spartans are fighting, like where John's fighting two Spartans, and then Kai shows up and helps him. That's a fire scene. The scene where uh uh Maki, Maki I think that's how you say your name. She's the covenant like woman, um, the covenant human woman. When she like uh storms this UNSC ship and like has all the covenant worms around her and shit like that, that shit is hard. But like episodes front to back, there's just goofy shit in, in all of them. It's just there's cool scenes inside of them. So you're like, yeah. oh, all right, let me keep going. But it, it, now it's, it's just an action for a comic book show, but it's actually not good. Y'all just keep going crazier and wilder and don't make no fucking sense. Like Halsey's a nutcase inside the, the books and inside the games, but like y'all got her fucking wilding on here, dude. Like, I don't know. And hey, the commander key keys being a weakling. You got his daughter being a weakling. Like that's the cute chick, right? Not... The cute yes. mix chick. Miranda keys. Yeah. 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 But she's like, she's supposed <laughs> to be like everything that her father was and, and like smarter and all that shit. And she's really not that on here either. Like Commander Keys is not like a dynamic leader. He's falling for John's bullshit when he's clearly off his fucking rocker. Like the show is stupid. Oops. So do you it shouldn't think, be called uh, Halo? Do you think Halo is a game that should have had a show and they just haven't yes. done it correctly? Like it, it no, yeah, it, it could have been done, but you shouldn't have focused on 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 uh, Master John. Chief. It shouldn't have been yeah. on John. It, if you wanted to make a show about make Halo, like you could have just other Spartans. You could have made it about them. You could have made it about the ODST team, which would have been great too, because you could have had the human element, and then it would have made the fights against the Covenant even better because, like, you see like how much bigger and um, scarier they are than humans. That would have been good. Um, those two options would have been fine. What they chose to do by focusing on the main character that we all know that we know so much about and going this far off love with it was a horrible decision because yeah. there's no way to unsee that. And I think Halo is too popular at this point that you're not going to get people who don't know about him to watch this show and actually buy in. You're only going to get people who know about him and be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. It's so weird. It's always weird how, like, if, if, I mean, it's with books, too, but, like, how people choose to take from the source material and, like, what they choose to deviate from, what they choose to keep. And, like, yeah, not using the full universe. Like, every show about Mass Effect or Halo or whatever doesn't have to be about the character that I've already spent Nine thousand hours playing as and getting to know. Yeah. This is a big ass universe. Yeah. You could have just you could have done a completely different part of the universe with similar characters and made it work. And people who care about Halo are gonna be like, "Oh, this is cool. This is what was happening when I was doing this on this planet and fighting." Da, 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 and it would have worked because we just seen it with the Mandalorian. Like, I don't know the Book of Boba Fett. I don't know if that did as well, but like, if you do the show right, people are gonna enjoy it. Or even yeah, you they could have they could have kept it on Chief, but like Chief um. His best adventures and, and travels and stuff like that that aren't in the games are with the blue team. And that's like the people he like graduated from Spartan school with. It's his 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 first team of Spartans, though. Um, they could have made it about the shit that they did, but instead they did it with him with the silver team, which is not like a team that he like really spent much of any time with. I think that was the team um the Spartan Lock was on actually, where they came to come get Chief in Halo 4. Um or Halo 5. So like this team already doesn't like him and he doesn't have any chemistry with him. Like this is it's just, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Weird. What's the next uh video game should get a show you all think? The, or what is that's, it? That's, that's already not getting that already doesn't have one. Yeah, like what's a game you'd want to see get like a, a show or a series? There's not many, dude. Like unless like kind of like Blake said, like the Star Wars stuff works because it's just this whole universe. That's the other way around though, obviously. There's not many games that I think deserve. Like, Give me something you want. Well, Mass Effect would be it, but like that's already yeah, happening. Yeah. Is it? Uh, Mass, Mass Effect, Effect is getting game? a show, huh? Is, yeah, they do. It's on. It's coming on Amazon. Yeah, oh, Amazon God. Studios wow. bought the bought it. They haven't like. There's no like announcements officially, but they bought the rights and they're planning on making. That should be out 2029, probably. Um, because like I, Resident Evil, maybe I think you could do some stuff with. 
That's they coming. Nigga, that show just came Netflix. out today. Oh, yeah, the trailer did. Didn't know that. The show came <laughs> out or the trailer did? I thought the show came out today. And that, that doesn't really count because the there's Resident Evil movies. So that's like already a thing. Those movies suck dick. I uh, wanted those on my PSP. Back in this Mike Epps is one of them. Who? Nah, I'm joking. Two, two, oh, two, yeah, Mike Epps is the one, huh? I forgot about that. Yeah. I can't think of any. Like, I. God of War is the only one I can think of with a great story, but I don't want to see a movie of that or even a, a TV show. It could be kind of dope, uh-huh. maybe. I think it could be just, a good movie. It yeah. would have to. I always want to see it maybe animated, but like trying to do like real Kratos fighting fucking like big ass orcs and shit. Like I think that would look kind of stupid. And because he switched from like, do you choose the new God of War? Do you do the old one? Do you just follow his story? Do you do the in between period? Like I don't know. I don't. I don't. I can't Dude, think of a game. Yo, you, you could know, have each game be a season. Yeah, yeah, just kind of flesh that could work, dude. stuff out. Damn, that might be my answer now. Honestly. But like him, him fighting Ares, I don't want him to fight like a, a regular size nigga. I want to fight Ares like I fought Ares, where he was like five hundred feet tall, and I'm like hitting his. You could do that, maybe. I don't know. That, that would look out. ridiculous on a TV show, and you know it. Special effects, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that should be well, looking awful. <laughs> that should be looking. Trash. War. Red Dead, Red Dead Two, Red Dead Two. Yeah, yeah, Red Dead will work, but shit, we got yeah, I, mean, I it's Yellowstone, 1883, those kind of shows. Like we already kind of it's got literally that. nothing like those at all. I'm just saying a Western yeah, show. I haven't tell that nigga, boy. just mentioning the only <laughs> Western yeah, show that I've ever heard of. <laughs> I was about to say like it's literally nothing like those. Yeah, no, just a Western that's show. Crazy. Any Western show. If I had to pick one, the Red Dead story know. would be cool though, because I mean, like Persona, just, um, you would just you wouldn't <laughs> do all the side quests, yeah, obviously, yeah, but like you. You could um, just stay with the main crew and yeah. like um, see how Dutch turns and Micah so, and all that shit. So that, that is that how you would have it? Like you would have it kind of just copy the game, not really deviate from that much. Maybe some obviously I would some different. Just, yeah, just stuff deal with like them stuff. moving around. And you probably actually show what went down in um, what was that Blackwater? The pl- yeah. place you couldn't go to start the game. Yeah. You probably actually got, show that actual that how shit got botched there. Yeah, I got a deep cut. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna walk y'all through it. I'll see if y'all can see the vision with me. You, have you guys ever watched Glow on on Netflix, the women's wrestling show? Yep. No, I've heard of it though. Do you like that? Do you think it's a good show, Blake? Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That shit's fire, right? Yes, I I liked it. Nigga, it was a Rumble Rose this show. Okay. Blake sees the vision. He tapped in on all the markets, the uh, the Asian market, your wrestling market. The horn man market. There you go, right there. Do you even do you know what Rumble Roses is, Tyrell? No, never heard of it. Never heard the words used before. It was like it looked like almost like DDR or not DDR, uh, DOA. Um, but I think it was like it was a wrestling game <laughs> that had like fighting game type Japanese of wrestling. Yeah. Got it. So it was wrestling with massive breasts. It looked fire though. Not even like on this like horn man angles. Like, yeah, no, that game, was, that game, game was always looked good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that game was always on sale, but them DLC be hell. So that's what you would want a TV show out of? You'd want a wrestling TV show? Yeah, a, a Japanese uh, wrestling TV show with okay. women. And they, obviously, they got like some storylines. And yeah. I don't know, there's like a redemption arc, and two of the women uh, fall in love with each other and take wrestling oh. beyond the mat. <laughs> so striking vipers, but ladies, got it. Just, I thought I'd have more answers for that, man. All, honestly, like I'm surprised. <laughs> There's not. I feel like games already be so like long and kind of like more than I'd want a show to be. Like I get, I feel like I get everything out of them. Unless you do, I was gonna say, like, 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 again, like you said movie. with Halos, where it's like Uncharted could be a show. Honestly, I haven't watched that movie with Tom Holland and uh, the hate, the hate crime man. But you could I need do to that, check but, it out. Yeah, you could do it as a show, but yeah, it's already a movie, so I, mean, I guess they could. Do I heard that movie is ass, but I think it did well enough. Like they're probably gonna give it a sequel. I'm gonna watch it though. I need to watch it. it. Yeah, it didn't look good from the previews. I I, I may watch it eventually. I'm watching it, it just because it was just funny because the, so the, the Rock and uh, Ryan Reynolds put out a movie, uh, fucking the exact same movie like a month before it came out. Oh, on Netflix, that Red Notice movie. With uh, Gal Gadot in it. Yeah, which was basically. I started uncharted. watching that and I fell asleep. I don't know if it was boring or if I was just tired. You were tired. That shit was good. I watched it twice. Ooh, okay, oh, you're a Gal Gadot. You're a Gal Gadot stand, though. Am I? Yeah, I thought you said Wonder Woman 80, uh, 84 was the best uh, DC movie. Just because I beat my meat while watching it doesn't mean I said all that. 
All right. That's all I got for, uh, or like, is that all you got for Halo? Yep. Okay. Jacking off of that movie is insane. That movie is <laughs> uh, You guys want to talk a little NFL schedule release? How you guys feel about your team schedule? You, how, how it laid out? You guys feel, feeling confident? Jamal? Well, Jamal, are you feeling confident? Uh, we starting out 1 0. Who y'all play week one? The Washington Commanders. Ooh, okay. Carson Wentz is not beating you guys, you don't think? Are you guys on the road? Uh, we in his head rent free. Yeah, we oh. on there, but I'm not give a fuck about no FedEx field, nigga. He's giving you a vengeance game. Yeah, nah, fuck Carson Wentz. So what have you talked yourself into wins wise? Like do you seven think you got some schedule with seven, seven and ten. Okay, I see the vision. I think I think a real coach that has like some good pedigree and not a piece of shit human. <laughs> and like an actual good coach that's won a Super Bowl and taking his team to the playoffs. I think that gives us double the amount of wins we had last year, which is only three. So three to yeah. six, and then one more. Because you're always going to win one game. You're not supposed to. So I, I see seven to ten. And I'll take it. Fuck it. I can count all our wins on more than one hand. I'll take it. <laughs> Shit, seven and ten in that division. Wouldn't be hard to do. I think Tennessee's yeah. taking a step back. Yeah. Texans obviously stink. Y'all own I didn't tally ours up, but I will say, like, as what I as one thing I saw was that we have the chance to complete the bird gauntlet, which has never been done before. We beat, beat all, the, all bird the bird teams, teams in one year. Uh, never been done before. We got a chance this year, man. What was that? The Ravens, Eagles, the Cardinals, the Ravens. Damn, yep. that's a lot of bird teams to play in one year. A lot of bird teams. God damn. There's only four. Is there more? The Cardinals, Ravens, the Cardinals, Seahawks, Seahawks, Eagles. Falcons. Four. Falcons. Oh, Falcons. That's five. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a lot. The, yeah, they had the Infinity Gauntlet. That's what they were showing. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Kind of cool. That's tough. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Ooh. My bad. Go ahead. Yep. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. I didn't go to checkers, but I, I got some shit for y'all. <laughs> oh, Popeyes, speaking of Infinity Gauntlet, I just want to say RIP to George Perez. He passed away last weekend. Legendary oh, yeah, comic book man. Who is he? artist. He's, uh, Who is he? He created the Teen Titans and like Deathstroke. I mean, he created the Infinity Gauntlet and like he didn't create Thanos, but he didn't create a, he created that uh that storyline, the Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War and shit. He's just like a legendary comic book artist. Absolutely, yeah, gotta be. Yeah, no, nah. and then everybody he had some kind of he's been like bedridden with cancer for a while, but everybody just said he's like the nicest dude ever. Like even like when he was like hella sick and stuff and couldn't move around as much, he was still trying going to events and trying to sign as much stuff before he he could pass away as long as he was able to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. R.I.P. No. Man, he left a left. He left a legacy. Yeah, no. I saw him t- when I went to the first Comic Con a couple years ago. He was up there. I didn't get nothing signed, but yeah. and anything he like did is worth hell of money now, which is shitty. You know how like anybody that has anything like that's like for sale or an item that you could like purchase like after they pass away is worth hell of money. Like T.I. putting out an episode of his podcast now with Kevin Samuels after he died when he stopped doing his podcast. All right. Whatever, Blake. I hate Blake. All right, what, what's next? It's the same Fuck thing. Blake. It's the same thing. <laughs> I, I fucking hate Blake. Did you listen to uh, the podcast? Hell no. How did you Bro, know that happened? Once T.I. Someone put a screenshot up, up of it on the uh, Joe Budden podcast subreddit. Uh, of course. If T.I. is like, I, y'all been asking for the podcast back, so... I'm gonna put that. <laughs> no one, no one. <laughs> Who is y'all? I feel like no one's ever asked Ti to do a single thing. Expeditiously, <laughs> y'all been asking for the comedy tour. No, no, we didn't. Dude, we have to go see Ti, I, dude. Zero percent chance, bro. Yeah, you better go, Tyrell. I Come will on, not man, be in go. attendance. How much are the tickets? I wonder. Don't know. Don't care. Probably at least twenty-four dollars. <laughs> If I buy your ticket, will you go? If it's free, I'll do whatever. <laughs> Pause. Pause. I'll do the wash it for free. You got to buy the drinks, though. No. Nope. Absolutely not. The drinks in that bitch is $12 a pop. So what? The ticket's going to be more than that. You cheap bastard. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'll buy no, my bro. drinks. I'm bringing you that shit with me. I'm going to figure that shit out. Jesus Christ. Dog, think about it. Like That's like some once in a... Literally, that's like a once-in-a-lifetime shit. He, he sucks, so he ain't going to be doing comedy forever. <laughs> it's, it is once-in-a-lifetime. Hey. I have no desire to if he, him. If he bombs, if he bombs, he'd be like, boo, get off the stage, Rashad. <laughs> 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 Just keep calling him Rashad. 
T.I. would for sure come in the crowd and try to fight. T.I.'s for we sure. Big, this nigga. tall. Like five, four. Yeah, no, we big, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Yo, what if T.I. whooped my ass? T.I. got security in that bitch. Yo, would him him up. Dog, T.I. whooped my ass. I'm never coming on the show again. Just swing first. That's true. Blast first. He can't afford friends like Dave Chappelle. Swing first. Yeah, that's a good point. I got too much for too much respect for T.I. Man, man, to try to hold him like that in a performance. Bro. What if he's oh, hella funny though? He's not. Probably not. He might have worked the kinks out. He, he's so. a he's a character though, man. Because I feel like he like like good good rapper, great rapper, legendary rapper. I feel like he was like entertaining in like other media, like we see him in like TV and shit and like movies and stuff. Like he, he was never he was never really in it. he was entertaining in like one or two movies. I think he's entertaining. Yeah, I think he's entertaining, and like even like still like with his personality and like. He has like that 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 star charisma kind of thing that makes him in. That doesn't make you a stand up comic. Oh yeah, no, of course it don't. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like he has like you got to work on the material, but he has he know. has it. I don't think Godfrey's it. funny. He Not does really. Funny ass impressions. He, he's yeah. I've he's never watched any of his stand up, but his impressions are funny as fuck. Well. He used to be on Comedy Central all the time doing stand up. I never really found it funny, but I probably wasn't target demo at the time. I just time. know but, he'd be around a lot. <laughs> he, <laughs> like he did. Yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody thing. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, he was around. So yeah, somebody laughing at this shit. I seen DL Eagle and he was so bad it made me a little uh, skeptical. <laughs> Don't see your heroes in person. <laughs> My old job when I had to drive like an hour or whatever, um, I used to catch his uh, radio show in the afternoon. I've like, always heard the, that was funny, right? It was, yeah. But I mean, I would catch it for like the first like twenty minutes of my drive, but it would be a good time, man. He'd yeah, cutting up. Nah, yeah. Wait, did Corey Holcomb he... already come back out here? Oh Talk. my god! I feel like Corey Cole could be out here every like six months. Dog, that nigga is funny. Dog, when I they saw don't be him... picking in his shows. <laughs> no, Dog. when I saw him at the comedy club in like downtown. Bro, that was I haven't laughed that hard so goddamn long. <laughs> like all his jokes are hella similar. Like he just be re rocking them, but them shits are funny, dude. Like, yeah, he was just out here in December. So all like, his yeah, so that nigga he's, he's telling story about how he was cheating on his wife at Burger King, bro. That was the funniest shit ever. Dude. Uh, I make it a point to listen to his show every week, not necessarily because like because one, if anybody goes to listen to a show from this podcast. Just realize I do not agree with like basically anything he fucking says on there. I was about to ask, like, why do you want to go listen to that show? But because it's you these are things that like you you might see people say like online, like in when they're anonymous in text, but not like you see someone say with their face staring into the fucking camera. And he, he be saying everything with his fucking chest. My, dog. Yeah, he oh stands my like, I respect God. Yeah, he be fucking Yo. wild. Like, he be shit. standing on the craziest shit. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll die on his hill. I was I was say he definitely seems like a nigga. You can never tell him he's wrong about anything. Hell no, never, ever. Um, Dog, those little the, his co-host, uh, his name is Marcus, or but it's, it, it says you know Marcus. That was his tag is whatever. Um, they were talking about like I don't know, just like family issues or whatever. And I guess like Corey like has a daughter that he doesn't see or something like that. <laughs> Marcus said something that sounded like he was saying like about Corey's situation, and Corey just turned the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't tell him nothing. Oh, that nigga is funny. Dude, Darlene sits in the middle and just be on her phone the whole entire time, quiet. <laughs> have you ever? Uh, do, do you have YouTube uh, Premium, whatever? Mm-hmm. Tony will put me on it. Go back and you ever go back and listen to those? Uh, I think it like Speedy's Corner. It was like when when it was on Fox Home Radio. It was okay. Jimmy Fox, Corey Holcomb, and this comedian named Speedy. Nah. Like, when I had YouTube Premium for like a month, I listened to like all eighty of them episodes. Like, <laughs> dude, I was working. So I was having the perfect right. workout. The funniest, the funniest episode. Where like, so they got one of the dudes. Um, one. Of, so uh, I think it was a comedian named Lewis Dix, and like he. He came home from over tour on tour, like comedy tour. And like his wife was like cheating on him with like a bodybuilder. And then he got like divorced, whatever. And then like, bro, they, they, they used to make fun of like the worst situation that's ever happened in the <laughs> history of this shit. Every episode, bro. Like, yo, they could be talking about, hey, man, the, the, uh, 
the um Tampa Bay just won the Super Bowl. Yeah, man, remember that nigga was fucking your wife at your crib, Lou? Like I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> it's like every episode. And they thought like the one dude's son was gay. They're like, yo, man, like thought like thought they was like, yo, man, your son got he just came out of nowhere. Like, yo, I think your son gay, Lewis. He was like, why? He was like, yo, like cause he he's 19 and he's a virgin. What do you mean? Like, yo, man, you, you gotta and then he was talking about yo, you gotta run trains with your sons. Like, bro, that shit. <laughs> Wait, and Jamie Fox you, was on this show. Yes. <laughs> It's hilarious because I've always heard Jamie Foxx has been on shit like this, and Foxhole Radio was hella problematic, and no one's ever mentioned it before. Bro, like, no Tony will put me on that shit. Dog, I'm telling you, That's go back funny. and ever listen to any of that shit. Dog, I feel like I remember you used to post those in the group chat hella long ago. Dog, that shit's ridiculous. Man. Oh my god. All right, yeah, Fox, no. you said Speedy's Corner, you called it? Yeah, like Speedy's Comedy Corner. Speedy's it was on like... Corner. I'll see if I can find that because somebody had like all the episodes on like their YouTube feed. I'll see if I can find it and send it to you. Dog, that's some of the funniest shit ever. Bro, oh, I got man, it. Yeah, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. Holy shit. Oh, all right, yeah, we in high school years. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Dog, I'm telling you, dog, that's just probably, dude, you go back here and talk about search, like, damn, you definitely like, Jamie Foxx definitely got like way too big to be acting like this on radio. But it's like, bro, you cannot say some of this shit now. It's just, just crazy how different like we used to talk and, all kind of shit, man. That's why I listen to the Corey Holcomb show because it's like no, the he, shit that he's you man. people don't talk like that no more. <laughs> Not that they for, probably for good reason for a lot of it, but like I'm just no. like I don't know. It, it's not necessarily no. challenging myself or anything, but that nigga be talking like a smack DVD. Yeah, you just gotta like you, I don't know. It's good to hear what is not being said. So yeah, like I it's, guess. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I can't, I can't uh, verbalize it either. But I know we on the yeah. same page. Yeah. Yeah. Telekinesis, we did. Like I know this is wrong, but I need to hear what the wrong people are saying yeah. so I know yeah, what's yeah, going you, on. You gotta watch Fox News every once in a while, and some, this yeah. is way funnier than that. This is way more entertaining. <laughs> Occasionally, they're with me. So. Yeah, exactly. Very rarely though. <laughs> no, man, that shit is right. Blake, you had you wouldn't have the Popeyes chicken sandwich this week. No, no, no. Okay. Oh. Um, what the fuck? So I got some, just two takes. One, anything you've, have, have y'all heard of Bojangles? Yeah. yeah. Either of y'all had Bojangles? No. Mm-hmm. It is the fucking promised land. I've oh, heard. wow. I've heard. I promise you. I promise you. It's absolute <laughs> fire. Gas. I don't know how they do it. Um, other thing is, if um, the the white genocide ever happens, if, you know, that's what they've, they're scared of. They're, they're all going to get wiped out and all that stuff. I'm saying we got to protect the people. Who uh, run and built Cracker Barrel? I knew you were gonna say Cracker oh my Barrel. God. I knew he was gonna say Cracker Barrel. I know the name is off putting. Y'all feel like you ain't welcome in there, but just I've DoorDash heard. it then. DoorDash it, get a Postmates, whatever. You, I think you probably are. I think you probably are. Um, I've heard it's delicious though. So. Gas. <laughs> now people say like people are like yo fuck Cracker Barrel. They say. It's hella racist in there, but they be like, yo, that shit good as a bitch, though. That's what everybody <laughs> says. Fire. Crack, all whites die except for Cracker Barrel. Uh, oh my God. Keep them oh, around. I don't know what okay, they're involved like, in. So now it's that the you race have, war, you got to like, protect what? them. And was it Jeff Hardy and Tony Hawk? That's what every black person has on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> those, those, are the two, those are the two people that black people always agree on. Like the race That's war right. kickoff, we're saving Tony Hawk and uh, Jeff Hardy. Matt Hardy's just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Matt Hardy, bro. Like now we're saving Jeff Hardy. Did you guys see when um Tony Hawk and uh, Wesley Snipes took that picture? Because you know they made that like, yeah. meme. Yeah, they took that picture. He he knows about the meme, which is hilarious. Yeah. Were you about to ask me, Tyrell? You've had like you've been non-vegan for what, like two months now? Nah, probably like a month. Oh, Emma, <laughs> nigga, try so, to double it. I I'm, I'm I'm not asking. I guess if you regret, but do you feel like? Are you happy that you're getting to eat all this shit that like you weren't eating yeah. before? That's like been hella good. Live you life with no regrets, black man. It's like living in the south and not being able to go to like the Bojangles and you hearing everybody tell you it's hella good. Gotta be kind of depressing. I wouldn't be able to have the uh, mental fortitude to hold up what you held up for so long. Yeah, I mean, because I didn't necessarily feel like I was missing out or anything. Um, and I still, it's weird, but like I don't feel like I'm catching up now either. Um, because so the reasons that meat now, brother. <laughs> Sometimes I haven't. I really haven't this week because I've been fucked up. Oh, okay, you um, put that number but, for a second there. 
Yeah. Well, because I was trying everything. Um, but it's it's like the reasons that I was vegan, like it, 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 it in my mind, I wasn't missing out anything because I didn't yeah. want any part of that. Yeah. Um, and the reasons that I stopped is like it's not that I think those things are wrong or that they're not true or nothing like that. It's just like I said before, like I've basically given up on everybody. So it's kind of dark and sad and not great, but yeah. I'm yeah. just in it for myself at this point. And yeah. <laughs> And now yeah. I think I want both myself and my family. Yeah, now I'm, I'll eat whatever the fuck I want to eat because like, no, no one else is gonna stop their behavior. So the world's gonna fucking combust on itself, and that's just gonna be it. It will, and at least you'll be a uh, well fed. And I will have tried Bojangles and Chick Fil A <laughs> and all these other wonderful things and Cracker Barrel. Do y'all got checkers out there and rallies? Yeah, 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 man. I told you, I got you. You said what are they called? B- Big Buford's. <laughs> Big yeah. Buford. I got you, bro. Yeah. I right the right Rick Ross. Ross. Big That's what Rick Ross says in that movie. I forgot what movie that is. Be like, yo, go go run to the stores and go get us some big Bufers. <laughs> I was like a secret, secret menu item. I just gotta like say it and then, man, I thought the and other one. Ass. Yeah, it's like what the fuck are you ask for? <laughs> this nigga's a you get from around here. You get called to, you get called all kind of slurs. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh shit. Who said it? Him out there, man. Yeah, the big view for big as hell. You looked it up? I'm looking at it. It's a big ass burger. It's a burger? Two, All right. two large hand hand seasoned patties, <laughs> top of two slices of uh, cheese, caramelized onion, crispy onions, fries, two strips of bacon, dill pickles, ketchup. Oh hell no. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> this shit's like a big Mac with like 80 different condiments on it. Sir. <laughs> this shit is absurd. View. I'm what? And it's funny because I don't want none of the toppings. Just give me the burger. Oh no, it's like an ultimate cheeseburger, low key. That's hella funny. Bitch. That's what I do miss though, and I I miss like from the jump Jack in the Box, and I know like, it's like trash. Y'all have it all the time. They'll have it out there available all the time. Yeah. I'm saying, but that that was my shit. They've kind of I got there's shit. like very few Jack in the Boxes now. This is one on six half fifty six. There's hey, two on so. Really yeah, I feel like there's just less. Maybe I guess they're the same amount. We just don't go as much. That shit low key expensive now. You yeah, can eat for two. It's 30, 30, 35 bucks. Dog, I seen, I seen, you probably seen this too, because it was on my YouTube shorts, which means it definitely was popping on TikTok. Some lady like went to go get gas, like filled up her car, went home, parked her shit, went out the next morning, the gas light was on, wouldn't start. So she had it towed to a shop. And then someone had drilled a hole into her gas tank and took all her gas. <laughs> I saw that. Nigga said you go to Costco get gas. That shit just fall out your car. Yeah, dude. Like that's, that's crazy. The gas they, is nasty out here. They could have been sitting on her at the gas station and just followed her home. Like, yep, <laughs> we got a full one right here. We I see thirty seven dollars right there. Dog, it's got to fuck, man. Like we we got shortages on all the like basic necessities. They can't get no baby formula. We ain't got no gas. It's nasty out here. I see them have shortages on. They had shortages on like aluminum trays, like that they put shit in at Costco. So they sent this lady home. Uh, she had a picture on the, the Costco subreddit, but she bought stuffed bell peppers and they were in plastic. And she didn't check or anything like that, and she just baked them in the plastic. Oh, shit. obviously inedible oh, at that like, point. This shit that you put in your oven. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. yeah, like from like their deli, their take home shit. There, you like wow, going yeah. Yeah, you would think I could just pop this motherfucker in the oven. That's crazy. Yeah, they didn't have aluminum trays. Shout out to a collapse in the economy. My goodness. Buy, buy, buy NFTs. Uh, it will fix everything. Where did how? Why did they start calling him Brandon? Because somebody at a rally said they started chanting "fuck Joe Biden," and I guess the the host of it thought they were saying "let's go Brandon," so they started cheering it too. So people were like, "Oh yeah, let's go Brandon." Sounds like "fuck Joe Biden," but it doesn't. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't make sense. That fucking sucks. Republicans aren't funny. Like, I thought they might have caught one. No, like <laughs> garbage. And, and that's why when they say it, they also follow it up by telling you that they're saying it. Like you'll see the "Let's Go Brandon" signs that also say "Fuck Joe Biden" on them because they're like have to tell you what they're saying. Uh, don't nobody, <laughs> don't nobody else fucking. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, we you guys said "Fuck Donald Trump." Well, haha, we got "Let's Go Brandon," brother. It don't hit nearly the same because we don't care that much about him like y'all cared about that man. They say fuck Joe Biden. I'm like, hell yeah. Fuck that nigga, like, bro. You, what the hell you talking he's about? He's fucking up for everybody. <laughs> I've been asking for student loans to be canceled the whole time. What are you talking about? I really just do. I don't know. Like, 
Well, it's two hours and we don't got to get into this, but it's just strange. Go buy a lame ass nigga. That's what it will say. Hey, is, uh, is that why gas is so high? Because Ukraine's getting their nose wiped still? <laughs> <laughs> say yes. I don't think it's unrelated. Because the, the, they um they provide Russia provided like all the gas for Europe, and because Russia now wants everyone to pay in rubles, which no one's going to do, and they have contracts that say that they can't do that, they basically can't get gas from Russia anymore, and they have to get it from elsewhere, which might be us. And because of that, um, yeah. everybody's got to pay more because there's less of it to go around. Jim Paskey keeps telling me that all the oil diggers ain't digging no more oil because they're trying to drive the prices up too. It could also be. She be lying, oh, bro. To so are they still like fucking them up, or yes, no, uh, it, oh, they're not. Ukraine's holding their own and pushing Russia oh, back. Okay. They've like in some parts they fought to Russia's border, but um, it's just it it's on Russia to end it. You know, like yeah. it's not Ukraine can't end an invasion of themselves. He said, "Wiping the, their nose." <laughs> uh, no, yeah, Russia was. Uh, they had a good punch at first, but since then, like it's, they've been getting their asses kicked. Like I just oh, keep yeah. seeing they're doing nasty shit, like blowing up children's hospitals and fucking. This like, is what's going on now because they're losing some joker shit. That's crazy. Yeah, they're they're they're. they're that's why I was agreeing with the getting the nose wipe because they're just fucking annihilating citizens. Stop blowing yeah. up children's hospitals. That's insane. That's fucking. They sick. had they had the first Russian um go to trial for like a war crime for something that happened in Ukraine. Oh wow. Just now. But like yeah, they've been like finding people like stuffed in trunks and like all types of shit going on over there. I was um, watching some I, I was from the lobby of like the fucking uh auto dealership and they're playing the news and it's showing them like rolling through some Ukrainian like side country town. There's just bodies littering the fucking streets. I'm like, yo, get this shit off the TV. It's happening right yeah. Um Finland, Finland, I think. Today, I think, agreed that they were going to join NATO or something like that. Oh, and, and so, they're bringing Sweden with them too, then? Yeah, I think it's Finland and Denmark. Oh, okay. Um, but because of that, Russia said they're shutting off electricity that they were giving to Finland. So it's like, oh, shit. That was <laughs> their big retaliation. But it's like, even then, like, Finland like has, like, nuclear reactions like that. So they can they can power themselves. It's going to take a little bit is all. But, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, Russia really fucked themselves with this one. It's like, they, they soured the rest of the world on them. And now, like... They're entering the the stages of being a failed state because they're defaulting on debt. They don't have anyone to buy their exports. Um, they've showed their military power, which it was nothing like what they were broadcasting. Bro, that's been the crazy yeah. part. Because like, they, now, yeah, when it when this first started popping off, it was kind of the expectation that like other people had to step in or else like it was falling within days. <laughs> and the mm-hmm. the first day of the war, people were like, oh, they made it to here, and then they got smacked the fuck up real quick, and then they had to turn around and. Now they're stuck in the mud and like, oh, okay, good. I mean, in in, in many ways, L, everybody did help, but it, it wasn't, yeah, just not nobody else had to go in there. It's like people sent weapons, people stopped doing business with them, mm-hmm. and um, people, that, that basically was it. We cut them off like with sanctions from like international banking and stuff like that. So it's like their money couldn't move around. They couldn't afford to keep paying for these excursions and paying their troops and shit's going to spiral out of control. And now, now they're at where they're at. What happens? <laughs> like, how it does lost this, like, like forty generals or some shit? I don't know. Like, it's it's, it's weird. Yeah, like it ends with like a change in leadership in Russia. That <laughs> that's it. it. Until that happens, though, this is probably going to be ongoing. Yeah. Damn. Fuck. Damn. Up. Well, they need to figure that shit out, man. Because gas is like four sixty something right it, now. Dog, even Costco gas is four thirty, and that's the big discount. And I'd like my wife back, please. So yeah, yeah that'd no, be ideal. Yeah. That'd be cool if you, everybody yeah. could be reunited with their family. That'd be lit. That'd be nice. Man, yeah, it's yeah. not hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> this last week was rough, man. Dog. My pum pum hurts, and I just like at home by myself. Like, oh, this is <laughs> fucking horrible. Dog. <laughs> Being a single dad and having like the man cold, you got to take care of a baby is fucking awful. I mean, just peeing out your butt is awful. And you can't even, like, not that you would necessarily do this, but it's not like she's just on, like, vacation, so you can't, like, man, bring your ass home, hurry up. Like, she off doing some shit that's actually important. Anything, like, oh, like, oh, my, I just sat down, the dogs want to come back in, I try to just let them out. It's got to be, they're not coming in unless I open that door, so I got to get back up when I'm, like, sore and just fucking wrecked, like, lazy go and do that. Man, oh, Quick, I know we probably get ready to get up out of here soon, but uh, y'all seen the, the Floyd fight got canceled where he's supposed to fight on the helipad? 
There was oh, a Floyd fight. It, it was he was supposed to fight on like a helipad on the Burj Khalifa, right? Yeah. <laughs> they got canceled. I'm, I'm I'm astonished that it was canceled. Yeah. How was that ever going to work? They were oh. gonna they were gonna get out of a helicopter on the side of the Burj Khalifa and then box. <laughs> yeah, got, it was supposed to be tomorrow. Just high oh, or something. What a canceled. I didn't, I didn't realize it was supposed to be tomorrow. Yeah, it was supposed to be tomorrow. That was Maybe they realized they needed to watch it. I was on some tech and shit. I was gonna try to watch that shit. Do, 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 do. See, see if you get a ring out. Think <laughs> <laughs> he's got a fight with parachutes on. Does the Paul Phoenix spin around punch? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that the nigga from Let's Get Ready to Rumble? Paul no, Phoenix no, from Tekken, you fucking oh, nerd. Duh. Won the King of the Iron Fist tournament yeah, like yeah, eight yeah, times. Yeah, nah, I forgot about him. All right, y'all got anything else you'd like to wrap up this week? Uh, no, nah, not really. Uh, oh, the, the uh, what's it? The Charlo fights tomorrow. That's about it. We got. I don't care. I'm just gonna watch it. <laughs> you gonna bet on it? No. You. Be- what kind of look like? Did you bet on Canelo? I, no, I talked. Uh, I talked Mike out of the uh, the upset on it. He hates me now, so. I don't know why did y'all catch any of the hurt this week. Oh, my bad. oh no, I did not. Why did he have some good stuff on there? Was Joy Taylor uh, on there? Uh, is she still on there? Whole week. This whole week was hosted by Joy Taylor with uh, Alex Curry as the guest host. Who the hell is Alex Curry? He went to Europe. She's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, I seen her on the last week. Because yeah, fr- last Friday was the last one I watched because Colin said he's going to Europe. Oh, dude, Monday, we do. Friday. No, we uh, me and Tyrell are going to a WNBA game next week. Is that next week, right? Yep, the 18th. Yes, sir. They you got press man. passes? <laughs> Shit, they're probably only like 120 bucks. You probably you just got to ask nicely. And 30 bucks for a locker room access. Hey, yeah, we're with the Critically Unfocused podcast for big listeners or big viewers of the WNBA. We can name the entire roster. Can we go to the locker room? Show, show them show them D'Erica Hamby tweet. Mm, that's a good point. We share WNBA media. Yeah, yeah. we are WNBA uh, affiliates at this point, basically. Exactly. And, and you then can they, the emails they listen to an episode after they were permanently a... banned. Two time league pass, two time league pass, right here. Blake, Blake, yeah. They he just couldn't be I, here. I, so I'm in the I seen an advertisement for league pass today. It said, "Get that shit for two dollars and fifty cents a month." You're fucking lying. I'm the dead serious. They had, Liz, they had Liz Cambridge on the back. And mine was like, mine was like Yo, twenty four dollars or nineteen dollars. Her? Was she? Uh, yeah, she's anti African. If she want to go to France too, nah. They, didn't she? She like they was playing in Nigeria or some shit like that. And she like go back to your third world country. Shitted on her from Australia. God damn. Yeah. I'm like damn. That's we don't crazy. fuck with Australia for like like that. Ben Simmons kind of like that. I feel like. Yeah. yeah ben Simmons is kind of like that. Yeah. Too. <laughs> I yeah, no. I don't have any reason to to back that up. I just feel like he is. No, I'm with you. Ben Simmons like looks like he's you, colorist. Man. Fuck that nigga. Fuck Liz Cambridge. <laughs> Fuck Liz Cambridge. That's why that bitch is uh Yeah, there's right. no there's no fucking shot Ben Simmons likes his dad. All right, I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's why that bitch gotta do only things. Ain't nobody buying that shit. That shit all on Reddit. And none of it's good. None of it's good. Yeah, there's not been one bad. good post. There's not been yeah. she's posted more of her feet than anything else. Only fans like in the that, slums, garbage ass content. All right, guys, have a great episode. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>